draw more pickles. Introduce more pickles into the lore of the channel. Sharks are in love. Oh. I've missed the last couple weeks and I've been, I've been very sad about that. You're all the realest MV daddy. Have a great night. <laughs> I was distracted trying to figure out what that sound clip was. I was like, what is happening? Oscar Mayer, call uh, me. I want my face on the front of the wiener mobile. Right, I just like paused in sheer horror. <laughs> right on the front of the wiener mobile. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna. We're gonna send that smooch to. Uh, uh, we don't know her name. Shelly. I'm so sorry, Kylie. I'm pretty sure we've eliminated every one of your shirts, Kylie. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, what the fuck is that? No, 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 what the fuck is that? No, no, no. I'm gonna be completely honest, so you guys know. This is not a confession I should make. But if there's ever, like, a solid week where I'm like, nah. Nah, I'm not, I'm not. Some, there's something wrong with my camera, I don't know. I don't, know, I don't know what's going on. There's something wrong on my camera. Um, I probably accidentally shaved. Just know that's a possibility. We'll jump. We'll be. We'll... <laughs> yeah, that's right. How dare you fuck my child? <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe Very now, serious. Andrew, the shoes on the is a real. I am. <laughs> you know it, bro. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> oh, there are more. Really? Wait. I'm immediately sorry. I am the father. We got jiggly stuff. Adam's apple. Over here. Water bottle, candy ass track. Get a chat. Man, Lamborghini pig. This is it. Tinkle bird, flavor saver, train lick, coffee munch, poodle hat. Made it. Wonder no. Tell me, chuck a river mouse, real estate, yoga fish, old person, freeze clump, pony sport, oily shirt, death center, pump squat, hairy stuff, wet socks, shatter nut, needle lobster. Running out of bodies. I made it. I was like, hey, There's hey, but how many? Uh, three hundred thousand sixty-four. I'm gonna add. Oh, I'm gonna day. add a jar full of marinara a day. No, it's an inappropriate comment regarding this dead man being bent over. Yep. <laughs> you know what? I'm going back to the hospital. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! My sack. Oh my god. Oh my god, I missed the ladder. I fell. <laughs> no. I was just saying that you're brave. Um, okay, hey, look over there. <laughs> it's great. Oh, sleepy. Oh. <laughs> Pop. 
top left, top right, bottom right. I don't know if it's the same for you. Wait, you're not a guy? Oh no, hey, oh my god! Oh my god, he came right at me! Did you already shut them off? You did. <laughs> we could have walked through the whole thing without ever fighting any of them. Uh, but you shut them off already. Uh, would that would that have been as fun? That's the real question. Oh, gosh, all of I wonder if it's because you're a huge, disgusting brain. Drunk, drunk, and smart. Ugh, I didn't think. I didn't think either. <laughs> oh, he's definitely in the 12 hours. I'm the big game and that owns your soul. How did we lose that one? I don't understand. <laughs> we were doing so well. <laughs> Somebody just uh, felt like I'm swimming. We were doing so well, I don't get it. <laughs> Such a jerk. <laughs> I don't understand. We were doing. Better go home before you develop a fever. That's right, you better just leave here. Your mama called, she said you're bad at moving. So you better get moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're bad at mooing. <laughs> no, no. What? There's like nothing on my Switch I really want to play right now. Play, um, Animal Crossing. I don't want to play anymore. Oh, did you know that the, the, the new Crash Bandicoot came out like yesterday or today? The, the fourth one that the subtitle is like it's about time or something <laughs> which I think is really funny there, this is Frederick Jr. Frederick Jr. to the rescue Ooh, that's a lot no Frederick Jr. <laughs> damn it Frederick, you fool! <laughs> you fool! You saw what happened to your father! <laughs> you like it? You like his mustache? <laughs> Alright. Hey everybody! Welcome on in. Welcome to the stream. Look at all these lovely... Absolutely lovely, fantastic folks in the chat. Also, Brave Star Gaming, thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate that. I hope you're having a fantastic day. You've arrived just in time for the start of our our indie our indie night. Where I'll be playing some indie games. Starting with we we started playing Five Nights at Freddy's yesterday, but we're gonna. I made it to night five. We didn't beat night five. I died a lot, um, but we're gonna we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep trying to to conquer the fifth night. Uh, for a little while. We're not this isn't the only thing we're gonna play tonight. I've got I've got a handful. I had a handful of games yesterday to play. <laughs> indie games, and we only played that Pony Island game. So I got more games. I've got I've got indie games for days for Spooktober. How's everybody doing though? Marshall, how are you, my friend? Oh, Jinto, coming in with the Halloweeny. How are you, my friend? Papa Bear Ellie! How are you doing? How was uh, how was the rest of Final Fantasy fourteen this morning? It was so good to get to pop on in and see how you were doing. Endgamer, how are you? And then the one and only, the newest, the newest member of the the Chili Dog Crew, Brave Star Gaming. How are you, my friend? How are you? It's so good to have you here. It's so good to to have that that follow. Hopefully, you're going to have a great time. I'm real excited. I'm real excited to be here and be playing more Five Nights at Freddy's. This is, let me preface also for anyone that wasn't here yesterday, this is my first time playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, 
I played a little of the VR game, and by a little, I mean like 15 minutes of it a couple years ago. Um, so this is the first time that I'm playing the uh, like the original, the original game, any of the original games. Shinobi, how are you, my friend? Welcome, welcome. And then we've got, oh, we've got Seal's Apple. Seal's Apple, how are you? I love those emotes. I was I was using those emotes earlier. I think it was in the flannels chat. I was using those emotes. No, I never. Well. I, I never played the original until yesterday, I should say. I play it, we, we started it yesterday. Um, we're just kind of picking up where we left off. We're on night five. But I had never played it until we played it yesterday. So I'm picking up where we left off during the 12 hour stream yesterday. Um, the two hour segment that I dedicated to playing FNAF. Um, I'm just picking up where we left off. We're going to do a couple rounds. Uh, I'm not going to get stuck on it for too long. It's one of those games that we can kind of come back to every once in a while. Oh, a pack for Brave Star Gaming. Hell yeah. Me. Oh no, I th Seal Zapple killed your pyramid, Jinto. <laughs> uh, let me get Brave Star Gaming a pack of stream loot. Let's see if... Oh, Brave Star Gaming, you might have to, if you're still here, you might have to link up your Twitch account to the Stream Loot site. Um, and since you're new here, I'll go through the, the Stream Loot spiel. Basically, all, what Stream Loot is, is they're almost like little packs of trading cards. Um, you can buy them with your channel points. Folks can gift them to other viewers. You can even buy them on the site if you want to. Uh, but you open up the packs, and there's different cards inside that let you do things to interact with the stream, play sound effects over the stream, play GIFs over the stream. Uh, there's cards that make me do stuff, like I have one in there that I have to wear a blindfold for five minutes and continue to play the game, which usually ends in madness. So if you link that up, Papa Bear Ellie gifted you a pack. I'll send it over your way. Just give me a heads up in chat once you, once you log in with Twitch over there so I can send it over. <laughs> the pyramid is dead. It's dead. I I wanna I wanna say thank you to everyone for hanging out yesterday. All basic some some folks were here like all day yesterday, which blew me away. Uh, we had a 12-hour stream yesterday to kick off Spooktober, and we had such an amazing turnout. I I just want to say thank you to everyone who came by, who hung out. Even if you're only here for a little bit, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I think it was our most successful 12-hour stream so far. You work for a bit while your stream. While your streams are happening, no worries. Absolutely no worries. I'm I was so happy to have you here. I know I talked to you for a little bit yesterday. You did pop on in. Hopefully all your streams went really well. I was glad to be able to pop in this morning in between bouts of sleeping. Because I have a weird sleep schedule where I wake up and then I go back to sleep. Because I don't know. I'm not good at sleeping consistently for eight hours straight. So I got up in the morning and I watched some streams and then I fell back to sleep. Sleepy, how you doing? How are you, Sleepy? Oh, Sleepy's already on that stream loot grind. All right, I am gonna, I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute Spotify. We're gonna jump over here. Oh, I still don't have it fixed. It's like on too long, too long of a timer. I'll try that next time. I'm still trying to, I, I thought I had it fi fixed, but um, the new transition is not, is not working 100% correctly. Uh, let's get capture. There we go. Five Nights at Freddy's. And I think I'm going to move myself to the bottom because I know the time is displayed in the top right. That way everyone knows how close to either success or death I am. You get 20 stream loot packs and you would draw 20k. Um, you could use the if you wanna if you want just 20 packs, you can use the create your own stream loot card. That'll take 20k, and then I can send you 20. That way you don't have to redeem like a bunch of times. There you go. Yeah, I'll just send 20. You want 20, just 20 original, or do you want some Spooktober ones? Were you first in the stream? Yeah, uh, you were first in the stream, Marshall. Thank you so much. Spooktober, you got it. Oh, Jinto. Jinto knows what's up. Jinto knows what's up when we play Five Nights at Freddy's. There you go. 
20 packs incoming. There's something really fun about opening packs, too. It goes back to that that nostalgia of like opening Pokemon cards and that kind of thing, because you never know what you're going to get. Alright, so we're going to continue. Night 5. I'm scared. Because <laughs> um, I still I still don't have this game all figured out. I think we were close. We were close a couple times yesterday, but I still don't have it. I don't have Freddy figured out because he just chills outside the door, and uses all of our fucking power. It was ridiculous. He was just chilling out there. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little bit. Oh, this fucker's already. Oh crap! It's the B button. I'm already fucking up. And for the record, I am playing the- oh, they're already both out. I'm playing this on the Nintendo Switch and the Switch. I don't know if these are issues in the main version, but there's- there's times where things just, like, freeze up. Like... Oh, that's Freddy. Freddy's already out and about. Like, there's times when I drop the camera and it, like, freezes on a black screen for a little bit. Freddy's getting closer. I can hear him. Oh, fuck. I'm not looking at him enough. like this. Oh. oh wait, Brave Star Gaming, is that your is that your name on, on stream loop? Oh he's fucking coming already. just chills outside the door there. So he's just chilling there. That's your Google name. Okay, I will send that pack on over to you. Were there other cards you played that didn't pop up? There is a cooldown. So if it, the cooldown was... Oh, my God. If the cooldown was in effect... Oh, he's gone. tiptoeing around in my hallway. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
I thought, I think the dancing skeleton played a little while ago. I can play it again, though. Just, uh, let me, let me finish out this round before I hop on the site. I know I, I saw the dancing skeleton, but someone else may have played it. Sorry about that, Brave Star Gaming. Just let me, oh. let me finish out this round one way or the other. Oh, he's gone. Hey JB, how you doing my friend? Welcome on in. See that was the problem last time. Freddy just chilled out there. Freaking somebody go away. I'm gonna run out of power. I'm pretty sure Freddy's just out there until the end now. Oh, and you're coming out. Oh, Freddy's. I'm not gonna make it. Zero wants you to say the ghost's name three times. Freddy? <laughs> this isn't this isn't Phasmo. <laughs> is is Freddy a ghost? I don't I don't know all the specifics of like the storyline. Oh, it's only 4 a.m. We're gonna run out of power. Well, I'm, my butt my butt's ready. It's clenched. We're gonna die. <sighs> Was that somebody playing the card? <laughs> nice try, whoever played the card and tried to sync it up. Uh, Brave Star Gaming, I sent that pack over to you. The one from uh, Papa Bear Ellie. Oh, I can I can send that card back to you too, Andrew. The Phasma one. Adam Zero wants you to speak only in questions for the next three minutes. Why would you do this, Andrew? <laughs> why? Just why? Why would why would you why would you you curse? Why would why would you curse me with this? Do you know the easiest way to phrase a question is to just put why in front of it? Do you know that? <laughs> Why have I gotten so good at this? <laughs> Why won't Freddy just leave us alone? Why must we continue to torture ourselves at this probably really poorly paying 
part-time job. Why would we do this to ourselves? Why did I say that, Andrew? Why do I why do I change the things that I say all the time? Do you know that do you know is also a good way to phrase normal statements into a question? Did you know that? Oh no. Oh fuck. Alright, Andrew gets a free pack. Whoever played the Whoever played that card. Good job. Here you go, Andrew. You get a free pack because I fucked up. Whoever that was. Alright. Oh my god. He's already fucking there? Bruh. They're already all gone? We're like three minutes into the round. You played the same good job, Endgamer. I'm so proud of you. We're like three seconds into the round and they're already at my door. Uh, oh, Brave Star Gaming, you might just have to hit refresh and then look in the top right corner. You did say that the, I think it was, the Christian Aviles was you on Streamlit. <gasps> that is the day I became a man. Kylie has purchased five packs. Oh, yep, it's you. Thank you so much, Kylie. I really appreciate that. It's also so good to see you, Kylie. I'll double check when I uh, once I finish up this round, Brave Star Gaming, and make sure that it went through. I'm sorry if it didn't. You got it? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes you just have to refresh the page. Stream loop can be a little funky sometimes. Kay, how are you? Oh, I've already used so much power. There's so much RNG that goes into these. Peyton, Peyton responded. What did what did Peyton respond with? I mean, we'll be we'll be playing Phasmo every Friday, so Peyton can definitely get in on some Phasmo at some point. I think Freddy might be outside the door. Oh no. Christian Nettles wants to know your opinion on: Do you like dogs? If no, then do you like cats? I, I like dogs and cats. I'd say I think dogs are my favorite. But I like dogs and cats. I like both of them. I've never personally had a cat as a pet. So that's why I think I have a preference toward dogs. But yeah, absolutely. I like both dogs and cats. Uh -huh. Uh-oh. What? What? 
excuse me? Excuse me? What, what does this mean? I've never had this happen before. I can't do anything with my door. Hello? Does that mean he was inside already? Does that mean I fucked up? I never had that happen before. You're off this Friday, hell yeah! Ooh, you should definitely play with this guy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I've tried so hard. And I've come so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Just gonna chill for a sec and try and conserve power in these first couple minutes. Because they usually give me at least a minute or two before anything really crazy starts happening. I mean, sometimes they just appear at the door immediately. Oh, good, they're already they're already out and about. That's good. <laughs> But yeah, Kay, it would be awesome to have you pop in to play some Phasmo with us. We're going to be doing Phasmo and Dead by Daylight every Friday in Spooktober. I don't know what that singing is. That's not the Freddy cue. Like, I think Freddy might still be... Oh, no, Freddy is out. Fuck me. Oh, I was too slow. All right. Do I have to put the thing up? Is that how it works? We're going to get this. We're going to conquer. We're going we're gonna to conquer the freaking... They're, they're robots. I'm a human. I can overcome the robots. If any robots are out there listening, don't don't listen to this. Don't make this the reason for the robot uprising. I'm sorry. Well, you don't need bits, Brave Star Gaming. You just hang out and chill with us. There's no there's no need for bits. call it purple bunny again because that's what I kept calling it yesterday wait are they all all out no Freddy's out. But still really far away. Oh, come on. He's getting closer, but I don't think he's here yet. Somebody's really close.
Do I think Bonnie's a female? Um, possibly. Do they do they have specific genders? I'm sure they probably do, because I know this franchise is like huge now. Hey, John Boy Blues, welcome on in, my friend. How are you? Oh, thank you so much, Shinobi. I feel like we're getting we're getting real close. The last couple rounds, the RNG has not been on our sides because Freddy just keeps chilling outside the door. Oh no. Try chat. Oh. 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 Freddy's out there. Oh, he if I keep checking on him when he's on stage, he won't leave the stage. Okay. I'll have to do it because I once I know the other two are out, I've been using the... Because you can tell when he... When he leaves the stage, because you can hear him. So much, John Boy Blue. So that's my problem right now. Is he's just hanging out outside the door and using up all my power. Freddy, Bonnie, and Foxy are boys. Chica's the only female in Freddy's. Very cool. He's like, I can tell. That, oh no, he moved. I can you can tell when he's getting close because you can hear him getting closer. Oh god. God. <laughs> that that got me. That got me, Ellie. <laughs> John, John Boy Blue, what other way is there to tell? Because the only way I seem to have found to tell that Freddy's outside the door is by checking that camera. Cristiano Billy says I am outside your door. Oh, you're outside my door. I'm gonna let you in. I 
make it. Unless somehow we get lucky and we get the... Where it has mercy on us when the power goes out at 5 a.m. Hey, Freddy. How you doing? There's some big teeth you got there. Shame if you took a big old bite of someone with them. He'll never leave as long as you check every few seconds. Okay, I'll have to do that because I have not been checking the stage. Yeah, if I keep him on stage, I won't have to worry. And the stage is easier because I just think I just have to toggle up two or three times to get from the, the pirate cove to the stage. Okay. So we're going to start checking on him real early. Oh no, he's gone. No, he's not. He's there. So cute. Oh, thank you. I don't I don't know what we're referring to. <laughs> Sir Sir, you stay on that stage. You stay on that gosh dang stage. 
this is this is John Boy Blue. Thank you so much. This is so much more manageable without Freddy on the belt. Oh no, he's out. Fuck. I didn't I looked away from him for too long. We've saved a lot more power though. So this this might be doable. Oh there he is. So if I keep looking at him wherever he's at, he won't move from there. Oh, okay, cool. He left. He left. Oh no, he's still there. I'm playing on the Switch version, so that may also be the case for me. Oh, he moved. Oh, when he when he laughs, he moves. Oh, there he is. Oh. I forgot to check the doors. Okay, so he goes from the stage to the dining room, to the bathroom, and then to the hall. Like, the end of the hall. Yeah, I'm playing the, the Switch version of the game, so I have to use the, the joystick to, to toggle between cameras, too. I'm guessing on the PC version, you can just click where you wanna, where you wanna go, camera-wise. Which might be kind of convenient. Except Freddy's out. Oh, kitchen, then hall. But you can't, I don't think you can see in the kitchen if I'm not mistaken. That's what, when you hear the the clanking around of, like, plates, that's the kitchen. Wait, is he gone already? No, he's still there. Oh, that's good, it's you. Thanks for letting me know. It's me too. Once he's in the hall, he near. Oh, okay. That's why he ends up just chilling by the camera. That makes sense if there's a system where you have to actually watch him. Because otherwise, there's not a ton of reason to use the other cameras.
Oh shit, there is a ditto in chat. Oh, he's out. Alright, so he should be in. It's not him though. gonna wait. Hope. We only have two percent. He's right outside the door. one time when this happened, and I guess it happened far enough into the the 5 a.m. portion that it rolled over. Yeah! We did it! So is that it? That was night five. 
We did it. Oh, Mike Schmidt. Oh, that's a that's a good name. That's a solid name. We got only 120 bucks for all that shit. We got 120 bucks for all that shit. The end. We did it. Good job, sport. Time for night. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, it gave us a star, though. That's cool. It's like, hey, hey, sport, you did good. There's a six night. Uh oh. Yep, oh, here we go. The title lied to me. There's six nights. Potentially more. Oh no. Hey, watermelon guy, how you doing? Oh, well, John, join John Boy Blue. Thank you so much for that, the the tip you gave me before, because that was the big issue was keeping Freddy at bay, because he would just end up outside the door, and he would just stay there. So I really appreciate that. Oh, he's out. You keep him locked down there. Damn it. What's going on, watermelon guy? You okay? Oh, you get scared easily. I'm sorry, my friend. Oh, well, I'm I'm very new to Five Nights at Freddy's. This is oh, I played the the VR game for about 15 minutes once. And it was very intimidating. Like actually seeing these animatronics up close is very intimidating. Um but this is the first time I'm actually playing, like, going back and playing the older games. So I definitely, I definitely really appreciated the the input. We started this yesterday. We did a 12-hour a stream yesterday to kick off Spooktober. And I started playing this yesterday. But we only made it up to, we made it up to night five. During Doom 3, my average heart rate is over, is 70, however... Even watching you play this has you at 92. Oh no! Like, I'm not. I I find it more like once you get over the initial jump scares, because now you kind of expect them. Now you kind of like you know when I haven't really gotten surprised by one in a while. But it it's more the like oh I gotta do this and I gotta make sure I'm doing this every couple seconds or else they're gonna get me. It's more of a, a matter of... Ooh, Outlast is really solid. 
We're gonna we're gonna do Outlast two sometime later in the month, hopefully. As long as we, because right now we're doing our main games we're doing right now are Silent Hill two, and we're gonna do Psychonauts, the first Psychonauts. But then I think Outlast two will be the next game after that. Because we did Outlast 1 for Spooktober last year. And we're going to do the second one this year. I always suspected. I always suspected that your milk was delicious, Junto. Oh, he's out. Uh, I just passed... I just passed the, the... My one year was in August. As far as streaming goes. So, this is the second... The second annual Spooktober. We might do something something special when we hit the one year mark from when I hit affiliate last year, which was in December. I didn't really do anything for the, the one year of streaming. Chilling in the, in the dining room. Oh, there he is. Oh, he moved. Now he's in the bathroom. I'm pretty sure Freddy moved. Yep. So that puts him. No, he's in the kitchen now. Suction cut man. Who's suction cut man? Just check the wrong side. Well, they were they were both there. All right, we we got this. Though. We got we got the system down. We just have to perfect it. We just have to put all the finishing touches on the system. From a YouTuber called Imanations. I have not. Definitely feel free to drop one of a, a video of theirs in the in the Discord. I'd be happy to take a look, Watermelon Guy. But no, I've I've never heard of them. Let's see. The seventh night will live up to the horror genre. The jump scares tend to be out of nowhere. Oh, okay. We we haven't had any really out of nowhere jump scares. Pymanations. I'm gonna have to look them up. I've never heard of them.
They're not fucking around. Oh, he's gone. Uh, unfortunately, watermelon gag. I can't. I can't do that. I don't. I don't have this. Uh, the the YouTuber you're talking to is talking about his permission to to watch their videos on stream. I'll definitely check out some of their stuff. Oh, I can just click over. That's so much easier. The bathroom's actually a good place to have them trapped. Oh. <laughs> I knew something was wrong. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let me get you a pack, watermelon guy. I knew something there. There was like a weird... Was, was that him making that weird breathing noise? <laughs> there was like a... Like a wheezing noise. They move, they move a lot faster. They definitely don't fuck around this night. Is out. Oh, everybody's out. Well, not Freddy, but. Thank you so much for the work, Jinto. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a fantastic evening, my friend. Oh, hey, it's you. Thanks. It's me too. If, if I if I know a jump scare is coming, Watermelon Guy, I'll let you know. Sometimes they do pop in out of nowhere, though. Well, he's off the stage. So he's there. Let me call 
the street, the mm, Freddie, you have a beautiful singing voice. Chat, phone guy's dead. <laughs> or I, I think so. I mean, it sounded like he got killed in that the phone message on night four. Is he? Is he in the kitchen already? Oh, I may have fucked up. Oh. I guess I, I guess I was too slow. Jump scare incoming. Avert your eyes, watermelon guy. <laughs> There's something real spooky about that with the static in the background. <laughs> also, if anyone didn't get their free pack today, there's the uh, the link in chat for your free pack of stream loot for the day, which there'll be a, a free pack every day for the entirety of October. Let's see how many I, up to the first 20 folks, because I can't do I can only do coupon codes. Up to 20 people. Only 8 of 20 redeemed so far, so there are still more. I'm going to give this a couple more tries tonight, and then we'll roll on to a different indie game. But we're going to come back to this. This is kind of like when we do Sekiro. That freaking boss in Sekiro where I can only... Oh my god, they're both out already. Where eventually I'm going to start getting frustrated and I'm going to slowly get worse at it. Freddy's already out. I think he's in the dining room. So the system I use for night five will work for night six, but you have to play quite a bit faster. Okay. Every four seconds. Okay. The jump scare the jump scare is over, yeah. Yeah, it only lasts like a second. No, that's okay, watermelon guy.
Imagine spending an entire shift having to do this shit. Why would you keep coming back to this job? I know it's the hours are condensed down for the sake of it's a video game, but just imagine having to frantically check cameras and check lights outside of rooms for an entire shift of work. Oh, come on! Uh, Alright, jump scary and coming, watermelon guy. Can you sacrifice yourself to the Spooktober gods to end your misery? Hell yeah, you can. We'll, we'll get you all straightened up. Melgitos, I'm really sorry to hear that your back injury's acting up. I'm so sorry to hear that. Hopefully you're getting the rest and take it easy and let your, let your back recover. Also, I did see there's a, a large post by John Blue. Um, let me take a look through. Basically, the system is check camera. That Freddy is in Pirate's Code. Back to cam. Back to the cam Freddy is in. So I should cycle all the way through. Lower cam. Check lights on both sides. Raise the camera. Repeat the cycle for the whole night. Each cycle should take between three and five seconds. Okay. Ratzel, how you doing? No, no jump scares. I think that is a new WR. Saw that jump scare. That was not scary. Okay, okay, yeah. That's those are essentially the jump scares in this game. Oh, thank you, John Boy Blue. That one, I, I felt like I was doing really well on that one. Like, we even, power consumption-wise, I felt like we were still pretty solid on power toward the end.
I don't know if keeping the screen up uses more power. Okay, so now cheek is out. Doesn't matter. And I think that's probably Bonnie. I never figured out what the singing's all about. Nice try, chat. I suspect that was Jinto. Those are my suspicions, just because I know Jinto got a lot of packs. Oh no. He wasn't fucking there. Oh, it was you? I'm so sorry, Jinto. Jinto bought 20 packs at the beginning, that's why I thought it was Jinto. Type underscore orange underscore has Type arrived orange. in the chat. How are you, my friend? Welcome. I have no idea what's going on in chat right now, just a heads up. I'm like in full focused mode. Someone's moving. Type underscore orange underscore wants you to keep playing with your eyes closed for 10 seconds. No. <laughs> right. I don't know which. There. Watermelon guy 420 wants to influence an in-game decision. 
Watermelon guy, there's no choices. This isn't this isn't a choice based game. Get fucked. I'm not even letting you off the stage today, Freddy. Type underscore orange underscore wants you to use your creepiest voice for the next minute. Oh, my, my, my creepiest voice. Is this creepy? I don't know if this is creepy. This is, this is also my Batman voice. Is this creepy enough for you, Type Orange? Are you creeped out? I'm gonna run out of power. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hang out and hope for the best. Let's hope for the best, because Freddy's still on stage. Foxy's still doing whatever Foxy does. Let's read chat. We have to completely stop. Oh, I stopped around 2%. Uh-oh. That's a good Batman voice. Thank you. I'm glad it's only a minute, because this would be very, very painful. Oh, no. I'm out of power. I may be dead. I may be dead. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I'm scared. This voice is hell in the throat. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, hey, Freddy. Oh, no, watermelon guy, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, as soon as we see if we move, I don't think we're going to. Not so. Let me take a scroll through chat. I missed a lot. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Melgitos. I'm sorry to hear that your job doesn't care that you're in pain. That stinks. Do you at least have like any kind of pain medication that you're able to t take to help with it? Oh, John Boy Blue, thank you. I think I think we'll come back to Five Nights at Freddy's another day. Because that was my full concentration run. I do have some other indie games that we're going to play today. Looking like a certified gamer. Hell yeah, thank you so much, John Blue. I really appreciate that. John Boy Blue. I keep calling you jo just John Blue. Night 6 and playing like a freaking MLG Pro. Oh, new Conan, thank you. Hey, I'm really trying. I'm really trying. Oh, is that? That's Foxy singing. Okay. I had no idea what the singing was. It was me. You know, water, I'll, uh, I'll send that card back to you, because, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know, all the indie games I have are all games that I haven't played yet, 
So I'm going to give that card back to you, Watermelon Guy. If we're in a game next time that has decisions, you can use that to influence something. Like, games that have, like, dialogue choices and that kind of stuff, that's specifically what that card's for. You have to, uh, you might have to completely stop or playing around 5%, but that should be fine. Foxy hasn't even, I should have, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't see that message. I was fully focused on the screen, maybe even 6%. I probably should have done that. What's well, a good Batman? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad everybody likes my Batman voice. Give a voice to Stuart Perkins. Who's Stuart Perkins? Try one more. Okay, we'll give it one more try. We'll give it one more try. I got unlucky. One more time. Okay, okay. We'll give it one more try. We're, we're, uh, we're, I'm not, I'm definitely not wrapping up for the night. We still have, we still got hours of entertainment to go, but I have some other games we're going to play too, so. And eventually I'm going to, because everyone seems to really like the Five Nights at Freddy's games. So eventually I'm going to come back and do, I have, I have one through, I think one through four on the Switch. Alright, so Bonnie's out. Bonnie's like chilling in front of the camera over there, so I don't think I need to worry about them yet. This time I'm gonna stop when it gets to. Yep, it's you. I know, it's you. It's me too. Me too. We're all here. All of us. So, like Smash Brothers, everybody's here. Okay, now they're both out. Type underscore orange underscore says, oh, no. hands up for five seconds. That's game. That's a game ender right there. I don't even, oh, he's moved. All right, so it's three clicks now, or two clicks.
get out of here, Chica. Five percent. I'm just gonna wait. Oh, thank you, John Boy. I think it's gonna roll over. It's, I think it's pretty far in the 5 a.m. territory. They, they came hard that round. There were times when they were both at the door. There's times when it's just not reading things that I'm pre Oh, we did it! Oh, we did it. So from what I from what I've gathered, there's a seventh night. Oh, Mike Schmidt, I've got some. I earned some overtime. Oh, we got overtime. That's what it's all about. We gotta get those overtime bucks. <laughs> Yeah, the Switch version is very wonky. I don't know if it's all console versions or if it's just the Switch version, but there's times where, oh, we got a second star. There's times when you're like moving and um, like it just stops moving, like it it's just real choppy. Custom night, I did, I won. Oh, cheats. John Boy Blue with the five biddies. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. 
for five nights at Freddy's Beaten. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Three stars as if you get them all at 20 difficulty. Oh, in custom night. Okay, we'll try it. Gento, thank you so much for those five biddies. I really appreciate those. Thank you so much. 13 to 20 is extreme. This is extreme Five Nights at Freddy's. Extreme. Okay. Yeah, we're ready. Here we go. <laughs> I have a feeling, I have a sinking suspicion that this may go poorly. Oh, I've forgotten the buttons already. Wait, did he fucking move already? He's moved already! Sir! Uh -oh. oh, he's moving like crazy. He's moving like crazy. He's already over by the... He might be in the kitchen already. Oh, see that? Like, that was... I was hitting buttons to try and move there. And I don't know, I'm just going, I guess I'm going too too fast for this version. Yeah, he's he's right outside the door already. He's right outside the door already. <laughs> has it, is this, is this possible to beat? <laughs> Max AI, Max AI Freddy will move every 3.5 seconds and there's no way to, there's no way to stop him. So he just ends up outside the door. Oh, I think we maybe we'll if folks want we can revisit this at some other point. But I think I think this is the point where I'm gonna call it a night as far as Five Nights at Freddy's. You have a video of you beating it. Uh, definitely feel free to send. It. Actually, uh, John Blue, do you have Discord? If you have Discord, we have a channel, and you can share it in the media section on Discord. Because I would love to see that. I'd absolutely love to see that. I'd like to take a look at your your technique too. If, if you don't have Discord, feel free to just send it over as a link. I definitely want to see it either way. It is possible, but it was never meant to be... People are just that... Oh, shit, really? You're still... Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, watermelon guy. You're still alive. You're still with us. You're still kicking. You got this. I believe in you. Um, we're going to play a different game. Um, I've got another one loaded up. I've got a bunch on the Switch, but... Uh, I've wanted to play this game for a long time, and I think it's got its roots in the Oregon Trail, and it's like a zombie version of it. We may or may not get to make characters. If we can, I'm going to make the Beardy Bunch. Um, I want to change the game that we're playing. But we, if folks want to see me attempt that mode more, we'll, we'll come back and we'll play more, or we can play the next couple games. Um, whatever, whatever folks want. Watermelon guy, this is still, this is still a horror game. No, I, I don't think it's going to be nearly as, as, as frightening. I don't think it's going to be nearly as frightening. Uh, the creator couldn't beat it and considered it impossible. Once Big Bugs and Markiplier proved it could be beaten, Scott added a third star. Ooh, that's awesome though. Yeah, I know, I know Markiplier is really well known for being really good at the Five Nights at Freddy's games. Cause it, that's like that's like his thing. He's the the king of Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I have this game. I I've had this for a long long time. And um I just never played it. This game is so much oh I'm excited. I don't know anything about it. I believe it's kind of like an Oregon Trail style game, except we're trying to escape a zombie apocalypse and presumably make it to Canada. But other than that, I don't know anything about it. Oh, apparently it's multiplayer. Okay. So wait, A. To open or use. Oh, well, fuck these beds. Am I supposed to destroy the beds? Piece of wood. We got pieces of wood. Oh, we're collecting supplies. I mean, we could just collect beds. Beds seem helpful. Oh, it just wanted me to open the door. 
You just dropped in the Discord. Hell yeah, I will take a look at it after the end of stream tonight. I'm real excited. Thank you so much again for all the all the help you provided. We're we're definitely gonna play because it seemed like it seemed like a lot of folks really enjoyed the Five Nights at Freddy's, and I have not to like immediately jump out of the game we're playing, but I have which one's oh the freaking spider. I hate the spider so much. <laughs> I just saw it out the corner of my eye and it made my skin crawl. Uh, yeah, so I have Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2. I don't have any of the other ones installed yet, though. Oh, and then I have Help Wanted on here, too. And I also have that on the PS4, because I have that for the, the PSVR. So I, I have I have quite a few. We, we, can, we can tackle more, because we're going to be doing exclusively horror and horror-related games for the entire month of October. So everyone seemed to really enjoy that. So maybe we'll tackle another one for Indie Night next week. We do Indie Nights every Sunday. Oh, we do Indie Nights every Sunday for Spooktober. Yeah, well, we're... Ratzel, Ratzel. I bought, I bought an entire pack of the... of the Sakura games off of Humble Bundle. This is, this is no, this is not anything that, that, that has not been well documented in the past <laughs> yeah yeah it is <laughs> oh hey how you doing orange seems oh orange orange you're in this game seems okay who is a real dink oh no orange you're wait oh sees oki oh 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 i thought it said seems okay i was like no don't call orange a dink <laughs> orange apparently you're in this game just dropping a hey before bed. Oh, I hope you have a fantastic night's sleep, God Crucix. Yeah, apparently apparently you're in the game. You're gonna head out for the night. No worries, thank you so much again, John. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll be watching that, that video, that clip of you beating it after I wrap up tonight. I'm real excited. Thank you again so much for all your little pointers. Thank you for the, the biddies before too. I really appreciate it. It was such a nice experience getting to meet you and I hope you have a fantastic night, my friend. I'll probably do I'll probably do the second game for uh, so I do indie indie game nights every every Sunday, so I'll probably do the second one next Sunday. Yeah, next Sunday I'll definitely I'll tackle the second one. Uh, this week we've got tomorrow we're doing Neo Two with Andrew, uh, Silent Hill Two on Tuesday, Psychonauts on Wednesday, Thursday's the viewer request game of the week. I don't remember what the viewer request game was. Um, Friday is our community Phasmo night. Uh, Saturday, Lily and I play Diablo 2. Yeah, Sunday. Mm, Sunday we'll be playing. Oh, thank honey. you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. And I, um, I, I put up a schedule every week on the Discord. Uh, anytime there's an indie night, there's a good chance throughout October that we'll play a Phasmo game since everyone seems to enjoy them. I know there's a bunch of them now, and I kind of want to get caught up on them before the new one that's coming out for the PS5 comes out. Leave orange. Why are we gonna leave orange? Leave him be for now. All right, we'll leave him be. Sorry, orange. Sorry. Oh, no. We have to. We have to talk to him. <laughs> this is the tutorial. <laughs> yeah, cool it, bud. It won't progress if we don't say cool it, or if we don't say something. Okay. Um. How do, when do I get into the actual game? We all know how I feel about tutorials. <laughs> is this this is you right here, Orange? I'm fucking up your bed right now. Your table. What do you think about that? <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, did we get, did we get fuel from the toilet? Oh, we got health. Why did we get fuel from the toilet? Wait, am I orange? I don't know. I thought I was gonna get to make characters. Oh, I'm orange. Never mind. I'm orange. Never mind. Orange. I have become I have become you. How does this make you feel? 
<laughs> That's right, Orange. That's right. I'm inside you. I know your every thought. Be the drop. I want a chair. Oh, no. Hang on. I want a chair. I feel oh, I've got a chair now. Yeah, I want those. Chairs are going to be the, my weapon of choice for this entire game, if that's an option. Oh, running often beats fighting. Okay. Oh. Found the ladder out of here. This will end the story for Orange, but your story is about to begin. End tutorial. Sorry, Orange. Our tu our, your story, your story has ended. Now it's my story. <laughs> uh, obviously, Orange. Orange is obviously yours. Your favorite color. Custom characters. Here we go. Ooh. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna make my. I'm gonna make myself. I don't know how many characters we get to play as. We don't. We don't get a ton of choices. Oh, that. There we go. That's my face. Wait. Can we? Can we get? Please. Can we please get rid of the hat? Excuse me. There, there we go. Oh, there, that's that's my hair. <laughs> De depending on how many characters we get to make, orange. I'll make. I'll make an actual. I'll make it an actual character review. I'm kind of. I'm kind of pasty. Yeah, they're not. They're not dead. Their story's just over. They're still alive. Can I have? Wait. Can I not have a beard? Whoa. Oh. Can I not have a beard? How am I gonna make the beardy bunch if I can't have a beard? Oh, there. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. I'm, yeah, that's me. Nice, like Hawaiian shirt. Oh my God, look at me. <laughs> I like a nice, nice Hawaiian. Oh, there are many choices. Oh, I guess I'll go with this one. Cargo shorts, please. I'm digging the music. I don't think there's any cargo shorts. Right. Oh, those are like jean shorts, so I guess that's okay. I think I have to redo my face, though, because I... Oh, there it is. Oh, there's different hair now. I want the afro. But wait, I want. Oh, there we go. There we go. I was, uh, I was, I was designing myself as a female character. There we go. This is the real me. There you go. This is, this is it. DCX Bowtie, thank you so much. <laughs> I I probably could. I probably could, but I think I think I'm gonna make our, our lovely our lovely beauty bunch friends. And then I'll make I don't 
Um, Jinto, do you know how many characters we get to have? I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the real orange. That way, orange isn't just a perk. I feel like I feel like Big Bru. Oh wait, are there more? Oh, there's more. Okay, I was gonna say I feel like Big Bruiser is the equivalent of a tank. Friend of dog. I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Big Bruiser because I move slow, hits really hard, takes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the this is the equivalent of a tank. Well, you make a lot of characters. Ooh, okay. Wow, my trait. Mysterious past. <laughs> this chaos. I wish. Oh, there's ones that we have to unlock. Wait, was one of them an anime fan? Oh, I want to. I want to be anime fan. <laughs> Which is, which is the closest to being chaotic. Berserk. Never retreat. Oh no, look up it. <laughs> Alright, so that's me. There I am. The, uh, the in-game version of Jay Chili. There I am. <laughs> so we'll, we'll save. Oh, oh, we can make... So... The question is, how many can we have like in a in a game though? Or are, are they like are they gonna replace like the characters we encounter in the game with characters that I create? No, I'm talking about the color. That looks like you with a beard. And without the tip of well this is I gave myself an afro, because that's my dream hairdo. I think these are like character save slots, so presumably I can make 80 different characters. Oh, I saved myself on the second page. Oh. Um, okay. Custom character, alright. So, hopefully I saved. Did I save? Yeah. Should I should I make it based on your uh, your avatar, Ratzel? I'm gonna let's start with the next one. Will be will be Billy. We'll do Billy next, and then we'll do Dad. Let's see Billy's Billy's perk. Uh. I feel like Billy would be an explorer. Hell yeah, Rat, so I'll definitely make you. Make one for every follower. For every follower that I have. But that's, as of yesterday, that's 550. We only have 80 slots. We hit 550 during the during the 12 hour stream. Do you get a person? Um, I could. I don't. I don't know what you look like, watermelon guy. But I can. I can definitely. If you want to direct me, um, let's let's make the beardy bunch first, and then we can do some other folks. Uh, Billy's gonna be an explorer. We can definitely do some other folks. Let's see. Um, I think I think Billy's charming. I think Billy's real charming. We'll give Billy the charming trait. Now we gotta, we gotta design. What, what shirt would Billy have? Billy would have have this like backpack getup. Oh wait, we're all gonna have, all the beardy bunch are gonna have these. This is the closest they give me to cargo shorts. Yes, hit 92. Hell yeah, Ratzel. That's amazing. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yeah, we hit 550 yesterday. I think we might be a little bit over because we had John Boy Blue followed today, Brave Star Gaming followed today, um, Brother Brother Cage followed earlier when I was hanging out in either Jinto or Cabot streams. So we've had a few since since then. Oh, you mean 90? Oh, type orange. Ratzel is an absolute legend. You're not going to regret that. that 
face. But Billy's Billy doesn't I don't think Billy would have an afro. <laughs> there we go. That's the Billy hairdo. That's the Billy hairdo right there. <laughs> Is there- I wish there was a bucket. Oh, you know- you know who we have to make and give them a hat? We've- we've gotta make Bo. Oh, there's a lot of hats. This is amazing. I really like this. <laughs> I really like just making the characters. Oh, we give- I think- I think Billy- Billy has- has a bushier. I- I feel like Billy's beard is bushier than mine. I also don't think Bill, Billy's a, as pasty as me, because I think he gets more sun. But I think we have we have sim similar hair colors, because then it just goes like blonde or orange. And I don't. Uh, no, I work. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave him with the same. But we're gonna give him. Just regular. There we go. Just regular glasses for Billy. We're gonna we're gonna save that. I'll save it right next to mine, even though we're on page two. There's Billy. <laughs> oh, you got some sun. Oh no, type orange. I'm sorry to hear that. He had six followers yesterday. Hell yeah, watermelon guy. I know I'm one of them. All right. So there's Billy. There's me. There's Billy. <laughs> and that will make Dad. That'll be a little bit different. dead perks I mean dad dad works in healthcare can we make dad our healer yeah I think I think dad 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 works in healthcare <laughs> trait uh nurturing Very practical. Dad's definitely the practical one out of the out of the beauty bunch. I'm not looking at it what any of these perks do. We know what we have, what we need for hair. This one's easy. This is a no-brainer. I'm really, like, just jamming out to this while we're making characters is such a blast, because it's such a good song. Alright, so... <laughs> but Dad, Dad needs a hat, because Dad always wears a hat. I feel like that would be a, a fitting one. Let's go through the rest. But I think that's going to be the one. Oh, uh, maybe that, uh... Oh, there's, look at all these mustaches. I was the first that followed before you started streaming, and you inspired me. Oh, watermelon guy, that's so awesome. I'm so glad to hear it. I'm absolutely. Billy needs a prospector beard. Like, the, the longer beard. There's. It doesn't give me a ton of... These are the beard options, and then it goes into mustaches. But I, I don't think, oh, I think... I think Dad's got more of, like, that. And it'll be dark. Is that? No, no, it'll be that. There we go. That's dead. All right, there we go. There's, there's dead. Daddy-o. We don't, we don't appear to have arms. Hey, Anna, how you doing? Welcome on in. We, we don't appear to have arms. That's a little bit concerning. But, um, here we go. There's the Beardy Bunch. So now we can make some other folks. Let's, uh... Let's make... Oh. 
Let's make Ratzel. Yeah, who needs arms? They're overrated. And Ratzel. Oh, I should have made Dad friend of dog. Oh, Rat Ratzel, what, what would you like your perk to be? If you're still here. There's a bunch we don't have yet. I don't know how we unlock these. I guess we probably have to actually play the game and not just make characters. I'll give, I'll give Ratzel a couple seconds and I'll scroll through them. to be a martial artist or a fighter or a gungeoneer. Alright, I'm gonna go with martial artist if Ratzel comes in and says something other than that. Uh, okay, select trait. We don't need mechanic. Okay, mechanic. Mechanic. And then you also get a trait. Civilized. <laughs> the rest of us aren't civilized. <laughs> I feel like calm under fire would probably be Ratzel. I feel like Ratzel would be really calm under pressure. Okay, calm under fire. And now we get to get to design. Uh, and I'm going I'm going off memory from your your avatar, your your VTube. VTube avatar? Oh, I, I do I always do the body first and get like the shirt and everything and then I'll go back and I'll do the head. You still got you still got dad's head. It really doesn't give a lot of... I wonder if there's unlockable stuff later. Like aesthetic things. Are those? No, they're just pants. Alright, here we go. Alright, so let's do, let's do the hair first. Oh, actually, we gotta take the hat off first. Yeah, okay, hair. Is there one that's like... Cause it's hard to see the back. So one, cause your 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 V two avatar has has long hair. Hmm. Maybe the one that's like maybe that one. Oh. Okay. Get ponytail to below your shoulders. IRL. It doesn't seem like it gives me the only like even close to long hair. Like it gives me these. I guess I could work for long hair. It doesn't give me like a ponytail option. Oh wait, was that? That's a ponytail. There we go. Oh, there it is. Ponytail. I, didn't, I just didn't look hard enough. Well, you can you can have the Phantom of the Opera mask. Oh, we gotta we gotta do something with your face. <laughs> oh, there you got that chiseled jawline. Look at that. <laughs> Copper goggles, you got it. Copper goggles. That's just like a really long fit. Like the mouth is on the chin. There it is. That's Ratzel. We're gonna we're gonna save that. 
right over here next to dad. And now let's make, let's make, uh, let's make the actual, the actual orange. And by orange, I mean type orange. So that orange will be able to continue to survive beyond the tutorial. Oh, orange, orange, what would you like your, your perk to be? Are you, are you mega buff? Are you friend of dog? I want someone to be friend of dog. <laughs> I really want someone to be friend of dog. <laughs> I should have made dad a friend of dog. The Gungeoneer. Are the ones we don't have? X Wrestler. Pathfinder. Top Seller! Shield of Hope! We don't have those unlocked though. Let's uh, let's let's make orange. Orange, you're gonna be you're gonna be the gungeoneer. You be a healthcare person. Okay, we can make you. A, we we made Dad a healthcare person, but we can make you a healthcare care person too. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna start with the hair. I'm gonna change the color first. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen you wear a hat on any of your streams. Oh, actually, no, you were wearing a hat the other day. But I don't usually see you wear a hat. There's really there's really not a ton of of options. <laughs> I, know, I feel like I feel like the 3D glasses really suits orange you used to wear hats all the time two years ago but you stopped I, I almost never wear a hat I almost never ever wear a hat oh we didn't do wait we didn't do your trait we didn't do your trait let's see is there a top hat there there might be. Oh, let me get your... Let's do your tree, and then we'll double check for a top hat. Hmm. Really? Like, the traits and everything leave so much to be desired. I wish there was just, like, one more. What? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Practical? You got it. I'm escaping to the Bo. one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Bo! Bo, you're just in time to, Space. to have a, a character designed after you, if you'd like. I know there was the one at the end. I guess this is the closest. It's, it's more of like a bowler than a... Uh, than a top hat. Am I trying to escape? You better believe it, Bo. You better believe it. We're, we're all moving to Canada. Everybody's going to Canada. <laughs> we're gonna be a big old, big old party up in Canada. What do you, what do you think of that hat, Orange? Well, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a really cool hat. Although, if you have that hat, I think, I think you need to go, like, full Mafia. You need to go full mafia on them. Flannel! Flannel! Thank you so much for that subscription! Two months already! Yeah, I'm I'm moving to Canada. It's decided. I'm on my way. Right now we're just making characters. So we got we got Jay Chili. We got Billy. <laughs> Look at that wild hair out Billy. <laughs> we got Dad. We got Ratzel. We got orange, and now we're gonna do bow next. We're, we're making bow. Cause I feel like, I feel like bow would really strive in a zombie apocalypse. I wish there was one that was like, 
Because I, I feel like Bo, in, in, in any, like, quest-type setting, would be, like, the guide character, who would always have really helpful stuff. Can you be a character? Absolutely. Absolutely you can. Apparently we have 80 slots to make characters. What would... Bo, if you're still in chat... What would, uh, what, what do you think your perk would be? Which is like your class. You wanna be befriend a dog? Okay. Type underscore orange underscore asks, What would you do if you were stuck in your nightmare forever? In my nightmare forever, I would, I, I would embrace the nightmare, and I would, I would make that nightmare my bitch. That's all there is to it. Do you think Bo would be an explorer? Okay. The only reason I was leaning away from that was I made Billy an explorer also, but we can we can also make Bo an explorer. Big bruiser or martial artist? Oh, wait, no, name is good. We'll do, let's do martial artist, because I made myself a big bruiser, thinking that was like the closest to a tank. And then your trait. Hmm. like inventive. I feel like inventive would be really good for Bo. Calm under, calm under, under fire? Okay. So, martial artist, calm under fire. And then we gotta do, we gotta do the aesthetics. At this point, I'm just jamming out. You don't think I could do you? How come, Watermelon Guy? Can you tell me what you want as far as, like, your... Like, if, if you tell me what kind of hair you want and that kind of stuff, I can make you. We gotta... Bo's gotta have that, that chiseled... That chiseled jawline. I'm gonna get rid of the hat until we do hair. Then we can bring it. I think, I think this, oh, I think, oh. Come on, fire. I want to understand, well, we, I mean, out of the ones that are options in the game, Watermelon Guy, it's pretentious for me to say charming. Oh, you want to be charming? Hell yeah, it's not, absolutely not pretentious of you to say. Uh, oh, wait, come under fire. Charming. That's not pretentious at all. Because I agree with that. I completely agree with that. Let's see what other hats there. Because I also I feel like the hat that that orange has. Ooh, ooh, that's a good one too. Uh oh, pack for Anna. Spooktober pack for Anna. Two Spooktober packs for Flannel. You got it. Get packs. October packs. Pack for Anna. And two packs for Lamb. Packs on the way. Dude, this this is this is the in-game music though. It's fantastic. This game has fantastic music. I, I mean, we're just on the... We're not even in the game yet. Yeah, I think I think this hat also suits Bo. Oh, he got me. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got Bo. Bo, save file. Ah, uh, who else... You have two spiked up tips of hair at the front of your head. Well, we, we do only have so many options, Watermelon Guy. We don't 
we don't get to just like I can't make whatever I want it it gives me about 10 different options for hair let's see who who else let's we'll make we'll make you next watermelon guy Nothing got you too. The problem is, right above my my one monitor here, there's a window. So every time when it goes in this side, which it always goes in this side first, it sounds like someone's knocking on the window, which is not the second story. That's that's a whole nother concern. That watermelon guy, you did stay. Good state. I think he wanted he wanted the uh, friend of dogs. And then Let's see. I don't know if you said what you wanted your trait to be. <laughs> yeah, I know flannel. One of those, one of those knocking sounds was was mine. Uh, which? Uh, oh, I think you said. I can't remember. Did you say nurturing watermelon guy? <laughs> we'll do we'll do nurturing, and then if watermelon guy comes back and says something different. Watermelon guy, do you have a do you have a beard or mustache? So spikes in the front. Nurturing, you got it. So you can do it. We know Moak. There's not really anything with just two spikes in the front. Oh, I guess that. That's that's kind of like spiked up in the front. No must no mustache or beard. Okay. Uh, would you like a hat? And then do you want to? Uh, uh, do you have pale skin tone? Uh, darker skin tone. Oh, that's like vampire skin tone. You like that one? Hell yeah. And then how about hair color? And if you have glasses or if you want sunglasses or something. No hat, okay. And while you're getting back to me on that stuff, I'll go and find pail, okay. Let's find some watermelon colored clothes for you. Green. Yeah, there's not a lot of options for the clothes. Gas mask? You got it. Right, you got the gas mask. Pale skin. And then how about hair color? You can still see the hair. It's epic? Okay. I don't know what I was on when it looked epic. But if this is green hair, oh, you got it. Green hair it is. Oh yeah, that's green here, I think. Yeah, that's green here. Alright, there we go. Watermelon guy joins the party. Yep, green hair is an option. We got you. Okay, now we're gonna do the wonderful. The wonderful flannel. Which flannel I may I may also need some input from yourself. Because I know, I know I've seen you once, but 
I've I've not seen you nearly as much as I've seen Dad and Billy to just design characters immediately based off them. But let me get there you go, let's get rid of that. Hell yeah, you absolutely do watermelon guy, and I'm really excited to see what kind of adventures we're gonna go on. Uh, so how about oh let's start with let's start with traits. What uh what would you like your perk to be? Which is kind of like your it seems like this is kind of like a class. And we don't have these last couple. Surgeon? We do, there is Surgeon. And then how about your trait? Your trained first responder, oh, hell yeah. That's so cool, Flannel. That's so cool, that's awesome. I had no idea. This is this is news to me. That's so cool. Alright, then for your trait. Inventive? Hell yeah. Inventive it is. We don't have anyone that that's inventive yet. Alright, so now uh, how about hair? Or just like a general hairstyle. We got we don't have a ton of different options, but we have some. Anna, thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate it. The hair actually gives the hair's got quite a few. It's more like the clothes and stuff. Close to my style? Okay. I gave myself an afro because that's my dream hairstyle. But close to mine. I'd say probably maybe maybe this. Watermelon guy, thank you so much for that host. Close to mine too. Okay, so I went with I went with that one. And then how about uh, would would you like a hat? Also, I don't. Do you have a beard? I can't picture if you have a beard or not. I'm drawing a blank. Don't wear a hat. No beard. Do wear glasses. Do you want just regular glasses or do you want like fancy? So there's like there's this pair of regular, that pair of regular. So one, two, oh, one, two, three. But you can have any of the other specialty ones, too. You just had before. Tanned-looking sunglasses. These here? Or these here? Smaller ones. Okay, so these. Okay. Alright, um... And would you say... The other ones? Those ones. Or are you just behind? I don't know if there's a delay. Okay, okay. Uh, would you want, like, pale skin? More tan skin? Darker skin? Whatever skin tone you'd like. Bear skin. Okay. There we go. We got oh wait, we didn't we didn't do let's hear what the face options are. You can have a real chiseled chin. Uh, you could have like a real like non um, outstanding chin. That looks right. So this one here looks good. Alright, I'm gonna give it an old save rooney. We got flannel. Look at this look at this dashing bunch of individuals that presumably are going to go on an adventure. Uh, is there anyone else we want to make? Let me think. Is there anybody else in the community? Oh, you know who I'm going to make? We got to make... We got to make... Uh, we got to make Lily. Oh, oh, we didn't... Oh, fuck, we didn't do your clothes. I'm sorry, we didn't change your clothes. I'm sorry, Flannel. Yeah, let's do clothes. I forgot about clothes. I skipped that.
I I don't know. I <laughs> we haven't played the game yet, watermelon guy. <laughs> the body size should be mad. Okay, so there's only there's like real short. There's like kind of stocky. Bigger, this is what I went with, and then there's real tall. So this is really the only one that's a uh, I guess that's like medium, and then just super string bean tall. This was the one I went with for myself. Because I'm a, I'm a bigger dude. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm a bigger dude. Looks good? Okay. Um, the tops, there's not there's not a ton of options for, for tops. They cycle back around real fast. Leather jacket with a red shirt. There we go, leather jacket. And then pants are really just, there's like jean shorts, and then just different colored pants. Different colored jeans. Blue jeans. What that, is that blue? I guess that's blue. Oh, uh, those are shorts, I think. There we go, that's blue. There we go. Yeah, I completely forgot about, I forgot about the, the clothing. There we go. Flannel. We're gonna go back. And I'm gonna make Lily. We need Lily. Lily's gotta come on an adventure with us. So let's make Lily. Let's see, Lily's perk. Will be... Oh, hello. Hello. I feel like Lily would also... Lily would be friend of cat. But that's not an option, so I feel like friend of dog. They really leave a lot to be... A lot to be desired. I'm gonna do a friend of dog for Lily, too. Lily, Empress Lily, our, our wonderful mod, who also makes all of our emotes for us, and plays video games with me usually on Saturdays. We play Diablo 2. Um, not this Saturday, but the previous Saturday, and then we were playing Phasmo the week before. Lily also makes all of our emotes. Lily's probably just getting the work right around that, because Lily works overnights. Uh, hmm. I feel like Lily's always real scared when we play horror games. I feel like Lily would be paranoid. Is there anything else that's just like... I don't, not Fran, Frantic Whiner's really funny, but that'd be really mean. I'm gonna do Paranoid, because Lily always gets real scared in horror games. Right, let's do... <laughs> oh no, not my car. My car's warranty. He told me he got it taken care of. Oh, you got to sign up for that extent. Every time they call, you've got to sign up for that extended warranty. Did she play Stardew Valley? Yeah, we played Stardew once. We went we went on a tour of Lily's of Lily's farm once in Stardew. Yeah, yeah, that was Lily. Lily's been around. Well, I've known Lily since we were like 14 or 15. I've known Lily forever. Strawberry Valley. Starberry Valley. I would love it. I would love if they made a new Stardew game. I feel like this is this is good Lily hair. But it needs to be what is the brightest red? There we go. The sequel, Starberry Valley. <laughs> I like that. That's a good title. That's a real good title. Yeah, that's that's a solid title. I would play the crap out of a sequel to Stardew. 
And then let's do close. Alright, they're the same. There we go. That's Lily. We're, let's put Lily but instead of instead of continuing to the third page after I've already fucked up and put people on this every all the main people on the second page. Um, let's go back to the first page <laughs> to fill that. Uh, is there anybody else? Is there anyone else that we would like to make in a uh, in in for our journey? I don't I don't know how many characters we're gonna get to pick. I want to visit Strawberry Valley. Strawberry Valley sounds fantastic. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else. I'm gonna look. Let's see who's on the. Even even if they're working, let's see who's in the list. Oh, we can add. We can put Kylie Teigen in. Oh, four max. Oh, if it's four max, then maybe we'll. Maybe we'll stop and we'll see how the game works before I just start making tons of people. Okay, here we go. New game. Game slot one. Load. Oh no, we only get two! Wait, do we only get two? Are the other ones where. Okay, so the leader is gonna be me. Our buddy. Oh, you... I wonder if we're gonna encounter the other kid. Let's take. I'm, see, now I'm torn. Do I take Dad or do I take Billy? <laughs> Let's take Dad. We'll take Dad. <laughs> so it's me me and Dad. We're going... Wait, with Buddy? No, Buddy. Take Flannel. Okay, we'll take Flannel. I was going to do the Beardy Bunch. I was hoping it was three. We'll take Flannel. I was really hoping it was going to be three. But I, I think I think how this is gonna work is we're probably because I think this game works. I think this game works like like the Oregon Trail where we're probably inadvertently gonna die, especially in the beginning when I don't know what I'm doing. So I I think we're probably gonna do multiple runs of it. So let's do we'll do normal. That's why I think there's so many different modes. Whoa. Yeah. See, that's why I think there's like a ton of different modes. Is I think we unlock different things. So, we'll, we'll take... <laughs> Too late, you're locked in. You're locked in. Flannel, we're going on an adventure. Jake Chili hears rumors that Canada is a safe place. I have heard these I've heard these rumors for this from this community. <laughs> Free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida. Oh, I live in Florida. I'm Florida man. He decides to brave the death road and travel north. The pistols in the Uzi have the advantage of bullets being the most common ammo type. Read another. No, no, no. We're going to hit the road. We don't need no tips, flannel. We don't need no stinking tips. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, You'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. So wait, uh, is this we're picking where we're gonna live? Or wh what our base is gonna be? Oh no, location to grab supplies from. So Flannel, Flannel, you're part of the, you're part of the team. Where do you think we should grab supplies from? Quiet Factory gets your vote? Alright, Quiet Factory it is. The group finds a rundown factory. Like most factories, one would now one would see nowadays. Sometimes people try to set up a safe hideout in a factory side closet, but this usually doesn't end well. Your zombie forecast is swarm size mild, aggression sluggish, current time near moon. Um we got flashlights. Can I? Is that? Oh, this. Carry. Okay, so I got a flashlight. Can I give? All right. Oh, flannel's got. Oh, flannel's got a scalpel. Flannel's packing. All right. So we both have. We both have flashlights. Lead the mission through the scavenging, controlled by player. Uh, strength, fitness, shooting, 
wit. Uh oh, I don't have any. That's accurate. <laughs> That's accurate. But flannel. Oh, how come? How come not all of flannel stuff is known? Flannel's got them wits though. Oh, cause cause flannel's inventive. You believe in Santa? Who doesn't believe in Santa? Wait, is it? Did it say that? Flannel believes in Santa. <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> I keep looking around nervously. All right, I think I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Let's go. Here we are. Uh, oh, my flashlight. Just fuck things up. Oh. I don't have a weapon though. So I think we're looking for supplies. <gasps> Bow. I got a mallet now. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. I wish the characters that you made are part of the story. It's possible. It's possible they might like switch in different characters for like NPCs and stuff. I guess so. We're looking for stuff, so I guess we should just start smashing stuff. Cause I'm guessing there could be things inside these crates. Oh wait, am I? What does that mean? Am I tired? I don't know why. Why am I? Uh oh, I'm like overheated. All right, so maybe these crates are too hard to break. Cause I'm like, I don't know, I'm either really angry or I'm overheated. Oh, we found the bathroom. Oh, you can search, apparently you can find things in the toilet. We got some gas, gas in the toilet. Oh, watermelon guy, let me get you a pack. Is that Spooktober? Spooktober, hell yeah. There you go, you got a pack headed your way. Yeah, we found gas in the- for some reason we find gas in the toilet. Oh. Somebody, uh... We can also smash stuff, but it seems like... It seems like it's tiring me out by smashing stuff. Yeah, we're we're trying to we're trying to survive and make it to Canada where there are no zombies. Apparently, zo Canada is safe from zombies. But right now, we're looking for supplies in this factory. Shinobi, thank you so much for, for hanging out. Watermelon Martin, Guy420 really wants you to tell a lie that you just saw a ghost. Everybody, over there. Over there by the boiler. I just saw a ghost. I just saw one. Right over here. Don't go over there. It's not safe. Oh, ooh, what's that? There's like a can of tuna. Oh, we got food. Oh, this is all food. This is what we need. This is what we're here for. Oh, punch tree. Let's see some. Oh! Um, well. This is mine now. Taking this water cooler. This is ours. Oh, I got tired. I, I get tired carrying it. <laughs> 
I think I'm pretty sure punch trees is an is an emo. Those grenades? Uh, uh oh, well, um Oh, well, I've got a grenade now. That's uh probably something that nobody ever wants to hear me say. Yeah, there it is. Wait, how do I throw wait, pick up? No, pick up. There we go. You can throw. Flannel Source wants you to stay awake for the night. Oh, stay awake for the night. I probably will. <laughs> oh, 12 hour stream. Hell yeah. The sad thing is, 12 hour streams are starting to get get too easy. I'm kind of glad we're doing a 24 hour one soon. Cause I, oh, there might be stuck in these. The first time I did one, it seemed like such a big deal. And the last couple have not felt like a huge ordeal. Uh oh, uh -oh you're going to get fucked up. Uh oh. Trying to make it to the exit. You wanna leave? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're getting fucked up. We found three food. We found one gas. We found one first aid kit. We found eight bullets. Ooh. 24 hour zombies destroyed. What is that picture? It's like a, it's like a really, like a really poor, black and white render of a dog. The group goes against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building's on fire. <gasps> what do you think, Flano? Should we plan out an escape or just make a run for it? Plan. Okay. Who plans who plans and leads the escape? Who who do you think would be better at planning and leading the escape? I have a feeling I know the answer already. <laughs> I have I have a strong suspicion that I know the answer to this. <laughs> Flannel tries to keep calm and observant. He keeps very calm. Flannel's composure revealed. Oh, we find out your stats as we go. He plans a fast way out. They leave unhurt. The group gets away. The group eats a decent meal. We lose four food. Flannel the wise. The group spots an infested city from the road, scouting it from afar. The group has to decide whether to fight under the noon sun for supplies. Where to fight for the, under the noon sun. So Flannel, here we go. Are we going to the grocery store or the camp supply store? Camp supply. All right, we don't have any new things to take. What's boogie? Wait. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, am I driving the car? This looks like, this doesn't look like a, a camp supply store. This looks like a neighborhood. Yeah, well, during the, dur during the zombie apocalypse, you, you've got to drive whatever you can get your hands on. Oh, we found some food. Someone was storing some food in their dresser for a midnight snack. It's ours now. Wait, that's the way we came from. I don't think there's anything in here. Let's just like, ooh, that might be like a secret. I don't think so. You still had a burger in their dresser? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's me, except I, I keep glizzies in my dresser. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, some nice candlelight glizzies. I actually keep them in a picnic basket under my bed. No, 
house now. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in this house. Because I don't, I don't think fighting is our main... Our main goal is just kind of surviving and finding things. Yeah, exactly. Yogi Bear style. Some picnic baskets. Full to the brim with glizzies. This is not... This is not a camp supply store. This is a neighborhood. Oh, oh, well, I've got this now. Yogi Bear. The successor to the the great Yogi Bear. Didn't they make a like a really bad live action Yogi Bear movie? I vaguely remember that. Oh, somebody else with, with burgers in their bedside table. I never saw it, but I remember hearing that it was really bad. Oh, hey, um... Why is there a bunch of just garbage in the middle of this room? I don't think I can get to that door. Yeah, I definitely can't get to that door. Um. Oh, oh, there's the store. Oh, we've been just searching the houses nearby. Oh, I've got... Hey, take my shopping cart! Need some gas? Ooh, we got a lot of gas. Get fucked! I don't know when I'm ever going to use that grenade. I'm going to leave that grenade. I feel like having a grenade is probably going to get me in trouble at some point. Oh no, I wanted to pick it up. I didn't want to throw it. I didn't want to break it. Uh, I think that's the only thing in here. Was that gas? You got a fishing pole now? You might. I don't know if I can see. Can I see what items you have? Oh yeah. Uh, no, you have. You still just have a scalpel and a flashlight. Oh, I can give you so. Like I can give you the axe, and then I could pick up something. Oh wait, now I'm playing. Oh, I can play as you. I can switch between characters. So wait, I'm gonna go get another thing. That grenade just feels like it's gonna be bad, a bad time. I want a frying pan. Coming back in here may have been a bad idea. Wait, let's run around. Let's lead them around this way. Wait, where did someone pick up the fishing pole? Oh, is the fishing pole maybe like a limited use item? You got like one use out of it? Because I know there was a fishing pole, because I looked at it and thought about picking it up. I don't think there's anything else here. Alright, let's go back to the car. sad why are you sad watermelon guy we got three food 34 gas that was good and 36 bullets we don't have a gun though he runs into a, a very out of place vending machine it looks like someone made it from chunks of scrap iron its lights are still on 
Everything in the machine costs twenty dollars, and the group has about that much in wrinkled and frayed bills. What what we, what should we buy, flannel? We can buy shotgun fun pack, boxo bandage, or a new hat. The shotgun fun pack. Oh, you sure you don't want the new hat? <laughs> All right, shotgun fun. <laughs> no, I already got the shotgun. I'm sorry. <laughs> who should who should feed the most rotted dollar bills into the machine? Warning, this will be a very annoying process. I'll, I'll feed them into the machine. <laughs> Takes forever to feed the dollar bills. The vending machine keeps spitting them out. <laughs> Jay's chili's morale decreased from happy to sad. <laughs> a fully loaded shotgun pops out of the vending... A fully loaded shotgun pops out of the vending machine. Imagine if you just went... To a vending machine, you put some bills in, and a fully loaded shotgun just popped out. My morale is down. I wonder if we can keep keep one for a pet. Keep what for a pet? Exhausted after an entire an extra long drive, the group scouts out a camping spot and falls asleep immediately after. The group eats a decent meal. Why is there a skeleton? I was really worried that we were dead. Is that how America? I wish. <laughs> Why couldn't why couldn't it have been a werewolf apocalypse? At least then there'd be werewolves. The group meets a man trying to repair his broken car. He clearly has no idea of what he's doing. <laughs> Whoa, buddy! Cool it. Just cool it right now. We don't want to hear about your car troubles. You just you just sit down and you cool it, buddy. <laughs> I don't I don't think. I, I feel like I, we're not gonna steal his supplies. We're let's we're gonna tell him to cool it. J. Chili tells the stranded old man to cool it. No, he thought we should steal his supplies. <laughs> he starts yelling at the group until they leave. Oh no, my morale went down even more. Ooh, uh, uh oh. <laughs> oh no, flannel. I'm sorry. It decreased your morale too. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We lost 10 gas. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade. With preserved foods being the new currency, you have six food left. The group runs into a trading camp. Mmm. I don't think we have enough food. Yeah, I don't think we have enough food, so we're gonna ignore them. I agree. I don't think we have enough food. The group comes across a house by the road. It's locked. While trying to smash the door down, a voice calls out, Hey, leave my door alone, you dinks! Do, oh, should we... Who is this guy? Should we recruit... We can recruit him. <laughs> I like how I just tell everybody to cool it. That's that's like my catchphrase. I'm like, hey, buddy, you just cool it. I know we're trying to smash down your door, but you just you just cool your taters right now. Did I tell you because... After 20 years, I figured out I was adopted, and I was in a coma for a week. Oh no, and a half, for a week and a half after a bad car accident that killed your adopted mom. Oh no, watermelon guy, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, I think we, let's try to recruit them. Fine, whatever. The door opens and Jerry comes out. Jerry joins the team. Onward to Canada. Uh-oh, Jerry's got a poor attitude and even even poorer wits. I don't know if we should have taken Jerry. I have a feeling that going to Canada is a waste of time. Why does Flannel never get anything to say? <laughs> I don't know, that's a good question. The group is about to explore a small house when they notice that a horde is creeping nearby. The group will have to hold their ground for a bit before they can escape. <gasps> siege alert, there's no escape. Horde size moderate, late afternoon, siege length one hour. Uh oh, we gotta try and survive. Jer oh, Jerry's got a fucking katana! Where did Jerry get a katana? Alright, I'm I'm giving I'm gonna give you I don't know that we need flashlights for this. I'm giving you the shotgun flannel. I trust you with the shotgun more than I trust myself. And fucking Jerry's got a katana. <laughs> Can I take? Wait, I want. 
Jerry doesn't have a katana anymore. I have a katana. Jerry's got a... Got a pipe. <laughs> this is my katana now. <laughs> right. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the katana, Jerry. I wish I could. It won't let me. It won't let me pick just a random, like another character. At least not yet. It hasn't. If I had the option, watermelon guy, you better believe we'd have you here with us. We'd have the whole crew. We'd be rolling like six deep right now if it were up to me. I broke the, the katana broke. Uh-oh. I broke the katana. The siege is over. You can now try to escape. Alright, so now we gotta get to the door. You wanna leave the location? Yeah, let's go. We got one food. We got six ammo. We're getting... Oh no, we've got a lot of gas. We're getting low in food is what I'm worried about. Why Canada? There's no way it's gonna be any better further north. Oh, flannel. I'm getting tired of your negative attitude, J. Yeah. Chili. <laughs> That's accurate. <laughs> That's very accurate. J. Chili sneaks off when everyone is busy. He is a true weasel who steals the keys for the car, intending to take everything for himself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I just stole everything. He drives off with most of the supplies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We lost pistol. Wait, am I gone? The group feels inspired. I'm gone. I'm not even in the party anymore. I mean, in a zombie apocalypse, who knows what I would do? I wouldn't steal it from my dear friend Flannel, though. Maybe I'd probably steal it from Jerry, because I don't know Jerry. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel they are getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Well, I'm not even I'm not even in the party anymore, Flannel. I'm rattling random skill gate, you got it. Every day is, is a great teacher, as long as you don't get eaten. Flannel's morale increase increases. Jerry's morale increases. Flannel's fitness increases. Jerry's strength increases. We got a you got a Zombo point. Zappo! Use ZP to unlock traits, perks, and more on the title screen. Oh, that's how you unlock stuff. Okay. The group runs into a particularly... I'm not even in the party anymore. <laughs> the group runs into a particularly rough stretch of road. There's nothing life-threatening about it. It's just a long and miserable walk. They get bruised and battered in multiple small accidents. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Flannel's hurt. And you're, you're hurt. Flannel's morale is... Oh, not good. Very not good. Jerry's morale decreased. The weather suddenly turns bad. The group is caught in the open and must keep moving. They are forced to stumble around in miserable conditions. Uh oh, I have a bad feeling. <laughs> I have a bad feeling Flannel and Jerry are about to die because I abandoned them. While walking along the outskirts of town, Jerry finds a small sporting goods store. It's picked clean of loot. Think thinking all is lost, Jerry spots an old SUV in the back of the store. SUVs have crappy gas mileage and are slow. They're also very durable and they break down slowly. Just don't bother taking it off jumps. Oh, you got a car! You got a car now! <laughs> I'm so sorry that I've left you. I've abandoned you. <laughs> the group camps in a, a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. <laughs> this would be a great time to train with repairing things, but what would make a but that would make a lot of noise. The group finds that there is no food left at all. Despair creeps in. You want you want to tinker all night? Okay. 
Who should tinker with the broken machinery, Flannel or Jerry? This is just your playthrough now, Flannel. I'm not even here anymore. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Flannel spends all night taking stuff apart and putting them back together. It's very noisy. The group will be very tired tomorrow. Oh, your, your mechanical skill increased. Everybody's tired. Flannel tries to help, but lacks enough medical supply. Oh, to help Jerry. Flannel's body is affected by the stress of this hopeless situation. Flannel's fitness decreases. Uh-oh. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. I don't know why this one's in red. Drive around more. 35 gas. Do we? Do you want to search the fancy house? The barn rescue? I don't know why barn rescue is in, in red. The group spies a house that looks expensive from the outside. There must be something in there worth checking out. Your zombie forecast is mild. Aggression calm. And it's near the moon. Oh, near noon. I thought it said near the moon. I was like, what? Uh, well. Those are all the supplies. It's moon o'clock. I need to find food. Safe is locked closed and too sturdy to destroy. With luck, the combination of keyword will be around somewhere. It's high moon. What's in there? Oh, bullets. We got a lot of bullets. I don't know. I guess we could. Ooh. A piece of paper has a series of numbers on it that looks like a padlock or safe combination. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of am. <laughs> I stole everything. <laughs> I'm probably off living a good life in Canada right now. <laughs> I can't believe it was me that stole everything. Oh, we found some food. surrounded oh no wait can we save you get away from him no everybody died <laughs> oh no we've died on the death road to Canada This time, this time I'll take, I'll take Watermelon Guy. Watermelon Guy, you're coming with me. Hopefully I won't betray us this time. We'll just keep it on normal mode until, oh wait, we can buy things, I think it said. I don't know how we buy things. I think it's just in the, oh, we can buy perks and stuff. So wait, maybe there's...
there any perks that we want to buy? Okay, perks and traits hut in Zombo Town. Wait, where's Zombo Town? Zombo Town? I guess we didn't find Zombo Town. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, flannel! <laughs> Don't track me down. All right, here we go. We're going on an adventure, watermelon guy. It's you and me. We're setting out. Our friendship may survive if you send five spooktober packs. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm so torn. <laughs> I'm so torn that I'm going to stream loots right now. And I'm sp sending spooktober packs. Jay Chili here is rumor. Oh, this is the same. We're gonna hit the road. We don't need no tips. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. Where are we going, watermelon guy? Are we going to the quiet factory, the house on the road, or the rest stop? No, no, I would never. I would never betray Watermelon Guy. I can't believe I stole the car. I was the leader of the team. No, 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 no. Don't feel guilty, Flannel. <laughs> I have a feeling there might be a, a sizable delay. The house on the road. You got it. The group spots a house on the road. It looks fairly quiet from the outside, but looking through the windows reveals shapes lurching around in the dark. All right, well, here we go. We've got a flashlight. We've got two flashlights. So I'll take a flashlight. Oh, you've got you've got a cane. I'm not sure why you've got a cane, but... Uh... There's a bat in the inventory? Wait, was there really a bat in the inventory and I missed it? Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like a baseball bat. I was like, how did I miss that? Not a bat! Anything but a bat! It's gonna eat all our food! Oh, oh, someone left a- someone left a burger in the oven. Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh we're getting a lot of food. We're getting a lot of food right now, watermelon guy. I think we went down here. I think this is the bathroom. Oh, wait. Yeah, we went down here. Gas in the toilet again. Oh, oh, I'm I'm not doing well. Guess I don't have a weapon. All right, we out. We got two food. We got one, one gas. We got one med kit. We got 19 pistol ammo. We got 20 rifle ammo. We killed 23 zombies. 
Let us go, watermelon guy. I'm injured, though. The group camps out in a big field. The group eats a decent meal. We should ditch the car and find a big zombie we can ride around. That sounds like something I would... That sounds like exactly the sort of thing I would want to do, is just find a giant zombie and make it into our minion. The group drives through a city that hasn't been completely overrun. You should look for supplies to stock up for the journey. Uh, where are we going, watermelon guy? Are we going to the restaurant or the bar? in this game. It's such a freaking bop. Bar? Alright. I mean, we're gonna, no matter where we go, we're gonna get into a fight. Because, um, there's zombies. Also, I'm concerned about the fact that I'm almost dead already. <laughs> There's a shotgun here. Uh-oh. Hey, what's... You doing okay, bud? Jay Chili has seen this kind of thing before. This person clearly drank too much soda, judging from the bottles laying around. Now she's in need of food to even out her blood sugar. What do you, what do you think, watermelon guy? Are we, are, we, are we helping her or are we leaving her alone? Real important questions here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's me. I personally, I think we should help her. But I'll, uh, I'll let Watermelon Guy decide. Feeder, you got it. The chili starts smooshing some food on Hay's Hay mouth as she sleeps. Oh no, this is getting weird. This is getting real weird. I'm just like, mm, get in there. Okay, okay, I'm awake. She says she'll follow you for a while. Also, that you should meet her outside of town if you both make it. Okay. Oh. So wait, what do I have a flashlight? I have a shotgun. I guess that pool cue, I imagine, beats bottle. Houses to check? I don't think so. I think that's it. Oh, oh, here we go. Let's see if there's any supplies in here. Oh, we get some food. Oh, okay. Wait, do water? Okay, watermelon guy picked up the pistol. So we've got we've got a shotgun and a pistol now. I like this. Oh, it broke already. It like immediately broke. Wait. Do I hit the one thing at? How do I? Oh, I don't think I have any bullets for the shotgun. There we go. Now I do. We're finding a lot of food. Well, you definitely should flannel. It, it's genuinely a lot of fun. And I imagine there's a lot of different random encounters. This 
Especially since it seems like there's other modes to unlock. Oh, we're finding tons of food this time. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Alright, I think that's everything. Oh, wait, there's another door. Oh, just the bathroom. Alright, back to the car! Because I don't think there's anything else. We found eight food, we found one first aid kit, we found 18 pistol ammo, and we found nine rifle ammo. Hey catches up with the group at a safe spot. She offers a reward and thanks for saving her. Should we... Okay, so we can either, we can either recruit Hey. We could have Hey teach us fitness. Apparently Hey is a, is a, is a personal trainer. And or Hay could teach us medical because apparently Hay is both a, a personal trainer and a medical professional. Who's shooting what? I had a I had a shotgun. Or you thought watermelon guy has a gun now too. We both have guns. I I think we should we should recruit Hay. Okay, let's recruit Hay. The group accepts Hay to the team. Hay joins the team. Onward to Canada. I'm still almost dead. Oh, we lost 10 gas. Watermelon guy. Oh, no, no, no. I want to read. What? It goes by so fast, I can't read it. The car is running fine, but an error code shows up on the dashboard. The group has no idea what's wrong, so they pull over to see what's up. Oh. <laughs> so, I can either carefully inspect it, I can punch it real hard, or I can have K kick it a lot. I, I, think, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to inspect it. Jay Chili checks the car. Finds the problem. It was just a loose gas cap. Easy to fix. All my mechanical skills increased. What do you mean? I'm a mechanic. With civilization gone, I mostly just miss image boards. That's true. I would miss image boards. The group sets up camp late on the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone to siphon some? Yeah. Uh, well, boys, we're going to send hay. I don't really care about hay. Hay siphons the gas, but accidentally swallows a bit and gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. Uh-oh. Well, we got 68 gas. That's good. We ate a decent meal. How much food? We got eight food. Oh, we're running out of food. The group is blocked by another survivor group that set up a barricade to prevent themselves, to protect themselves. They are dist distrusting and heavily armed. The person they send to talk is extremely annoying. Who should try to deal with them? I think, I think Watermelon Guy should deal with them. What do you think, Watermelon Guy? Can you deal with the extremely annoying but heavily armed survivor? I won't, I won't send you if you don't think you can handle it. Can you kill Hay? No. Hay's on our team. But you can, you can go try and deal with the extremely annoying other survivor group that's blocking the road. Or we can send Hay to deal with it. Alright, well, that's... Th the option is, to do, do you think you can talk to them? Because it's sending who we should send to deal with them, which I think is talk to them. Okay. Watermelon guy talks to the annoying representative. He manages to be very polite. I'll oh, see you're very polite, watermelon guy. <laughs> After enough pointless questioning, the group is let through the barricade. Oh, you did it! You got us through! Hey, it is, it is just smooth sailing from now out, now on. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilizations, uh, I, I don't, we don't have enough, I don't think we have enough food. So polite. Very polite. The group finds a new person, Shad. Look at that mustache on Shad. 
He is alone and wants to join the team. Shad claims to be great at fixing cars and machinery. He promises that if someone breaks, if something breaks, he can fix it. I want, look at that mustache. Look at that mustache on Shad. Shad's joining our team. The group accepts Shad to the team. Shad joins the team. Onward to Canada. Is that, is that just like, <laughs> Shad, is that like Shaq in disguise? <laughs> <laughs> the group gets confused when driving through a forest. They stop at a cabin to figure out where they are, but get trapped by a roaming horde. Siege alert! There's no escape! Alright, we gotta survive for an hour. What is, what is Shad? Shad? Oh, Shad's got a, Shad's got a wrench. Hmm. Oh, Hay doesn't have anything. I have a gun, but I don't have any ammo for it. Uh, but I think you, yeah, you have ammo for your gun, Watermelon Guy. Here we go. I mean, you could store anything in a grandfather clock, I guess, technically. <laughs> it's a it's a weird it's a little bit of a weird spot, but I mean We're in the zombie apocalypse. I'd store bullets anywhere. The siege is over, you can now try and escape. Let's get out of here. Did we just leave the square? We did it. Do you want to walk back to the road? Yes. We got five food, one gas, one first aid, 14 pistol rounds, and five rifle rounds. We're doing decent. We got, we've got a good amount of gas. We've got some food. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. I feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Ooh. Uh, let's do, let's do shooting. Yeah, I haven't betrayed anyone yet. Yeah. Getting used to these zombies makes for steadier aiming. Watermelon guy shooting revealed. Oh, it's getting better though. That's good. Hey, shooting revealed. Oh, hey, is pretty good at shooting. <gasps> oh, I'm really good at shooting. Uh, we also got a zombo point. Which I haven't figured out how to spend yet. The group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove in it, but no wood. The group eats a decent meal. Uh, let's go chop some wood. Who should go and chop the wood? I'll, you know what? I'll chop the wood. I got this. Jay Chili chops a bunch of wood and gets the wood stove going before passing out from exhaustion. He will be very tired tomorrow. That's okay. My strength increased, though. Uh, watermelon guy's morale went up. Hayes' morale went up, and Shad's morale went up. Yeah, I would, I would totally, I would totally never, I would never betray the team. I would never do that. Whoa, it's flannel! It's nice to see it. We found flannel. <laughs> oh, flannel's back for revenge. He's kicking a car in frustration. The car is emitting plumes of smoke. Invent, uh, perk, inventive surgery. Yeah, flannel. Flannel, you're on the team again. The group is full. Who would you like to replace to make room? Get out of here, Hay. Hay gets booed out of the group. <laughs> we just like kick Hay off to the to the side of the road to bring Flannel on the team. Flannel joins the team. Onward to Canada. <laughs> Hay's just back there hitchhiking now. The way ahead has a big tree lying across it. It looks like someone cut it down to block the road. It would take a group of strong people to move it safely. The group decides to... Oh, so now, now you're both on the team. What are we doing? Are we taking a detour? Are we plowing through? <laughs> are we lifting the tree? I got the both of you now. 
You're both on the team. This is a group decision. I mean, I I I vote for plowing right. We can plow right through that. We got we've got lift the tree. I'm strong. Okay, okay. Let's lift lift the tree. The group decides to try to pick up the tree. The group fails to move the tree at all, but manages to injure themselves pretty bad. They decide to try to ram the tree with the car. The car gets through, but takes some damage. Well, we're injured and our car is damaged. <laughs> oh, my strength went down and my morale went down. Watermelon guy's morale went down. Watermelon guy's hurt. Flannel's morale decreased. Flannel is hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh <laughs> while driving on the death road the group decides to make a stop for supplies uh where are we going are we going to the gym apartment the dark mansion <laughs> or are we driving around more no no flannel that's not true that's not true that could have happened to anyone i mean i've got i don't know why it's red but i've got a i've got a certain pension for, for dark mansions. The gym apartment? I'm okay at the gym apartment. Do the gym apartment. The group drives n near a rather large apartment building. It may take a while to explore this, but they might have an indoor pool. Ooh, an indoor pool. <gasps> uh oh, we got the nail board. Wait, do I have... Oh, I've got one, so we can give the nail board to to Flannel. Here you go, Flannel. Because Watermelon Guy's got the gun. I've got a shotgun with no ammo and a nail board. Shad's got that wrench. Shad's, Shad's doing his thing over there. back okay oh real real sad i don't know why i'm moonwalking there's not much here shad shad really is a chad with that look at that freaking mustache what's down here oh you weren't in here oh there's a gun Got any ammo? Here, someone pick up that. There we go. Oh, Flannel's got a gun now. We got more bullets from the grandfather claw. Flannel's got a gun. He's gonna shoot some zombies with it. Alright. Oh no, there's doors in here. Okay. Apparently I'm real sad. Uh, oof. Oh, well, I was going to take that, but somebody else picked it up. This might be everything here. We went here, right? Yeah. Oh, oh wait, no, we didn't.
Oh, there's a lot of food in there. Uh oh. Oh, Flannel, thank you so much for the work. I really appreciate it. Yeah, think we blast our way out. I'm an ammo. I'm gonna leave, yes. We got 13. For Holy shit, that's a lot of food. We got three first aid kits, six pistol bullets, and five rifle rounds. We killed 60 zombies. Oh. We're living our best life right now. We kind of need gas, though. It's nearly time to camp, but there has been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Uh, well, Shad, Shad could stay awake. Shad doesn't need any sleep. Shad stands guard for the night. He ignores the task and falls asleep. Fuck you, Shad. Fuck you. What a, what a, what an asshole. Falls asleep almost instantly. The next morning, a bunch of supplies are missing. <gasps> Shad! Oh no, Shad's not that loyal to us. Oh, we gotta, we gotta get rid of Shad. The group eats a decent meal. We gotta, we gotta do something about Shad. Shad's not loyal. This canned food is a lot better when you're able to heat it up, says Flannel. The group sees a city in the distance with zombies crowding the streets. Getting back alive may be difficult. Oh. Oh, what do you think, Watermelon Guy? The office building or the apartment with, with the bark banner? I don't I have no idea what the bark banner is. Maybe that's like a post-apocalyptic gang. I'm kind of feeling... I don't know about the bark banner. The bark banner makes me nervous. But I'm also a little nervous because the swarm size is thick. Thick with two C's. Oh, it's so thick. Thick and thick and creamy. <laughs> there you go with the office building. <laughs> um, I'm taking. I'm gonna take this fireplace poker. Wait. What? Wait, what does Shad have? I'm oh, just the ranch. Because Shad's not loyal to us. I don't trust Shad. Oh, Chillin' Villain's Law. That sounds like an ama amazing place. Chillin' Villain's Law. Where we chillin' like a villain. We can check those cabinets. Okay. Another door? I guess not. It's a tiny door. Oh no! Oh, well. I'm dead though. Oh, well. No, 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 you watermelon guy, I'm dead! I'm dead! No! Oh! Can I be saved? Does this mean I, I can be saved? 
I don't think it does. I think I could be used as a weapon now. I'm too heavy. Go on without me. That's it. I'm dead. You're on your own, watermelon guy. Well, you've got flannel with you. J. Chili. He, he once betrayed an entire party of survivors, but he made up for it by giving his life. Oh no, they're eating me! No! leaping me here. I don't think there's anything else. I don't think we don't have a first aid kit. I think if we had a first aid kit, I'd be able to I'd be able to heal. Why is, there, why is there a bookshelf in this bathroom? I mean, I'm all about some light reading while you're while you're in the bathroom, but um, a whole bookshelf seems a little extreme. Were we in here? No, we weren't. Well, we got a first aid kit. Let's go back and see if we can revive me. Of this place doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this is like the TARDIS of houses. Just dead. <laughs> well, watermelon guy, this is your adventure now. I'm dead. Everybody in the car. I died. I died in, in the in the office. We got 12 food, one first aid kit, 34 pistol rounds, 18 rifle rounds, and 12 shotgun rounds. If you tie a string around your finger real tight, your finger will turn purple, says Flannel. Um, Flannel, I'm concerned. It's just another day on the death road when someone farts in the car. Drama and mystery consumes the team. Pick someone to blame. I blame Shad. Shad is blamed for the for the fart. Shad's morale decreases. The smell lingers. <laughs> Was this the real culprit? Who can say? Oh, how are you going to solve this mystery? The group is sitting around a campfire. Finding this campsite was rough, so they are getting in a bad mood. The group eats a decent meal. Well, how, let's have... You know what? They're, they're, all, they're all really... They're real, all real angry. Let's sing a song. The group tries to keep spirits high by singing whether or not the... Whether or not the singing was any good mostly depends on your attitude. What? Who, who are we sending? I don't think we're sending anyone anywhere. We had we only had the option to sing or have flannel plan out the rest of the next day. 
The car's completely run out of gas and coast to a stop. Car abandoned. Uh oh. Oh, Shad wants to find a tank to drive around. The group is robbed by weak bandits. The bandits are of a kind that would normally not be a problem. If the group had a car or wasn't tired from walking all day, the bandits nervously demand 12 food to pass safely. I don't know, watermelon guy, do you think do you think you can fight them? I don't think you have enough food. Do you think you can fight them? This is this is your expedition now, because I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just gone. I'm back in that office building, slowly rotting. I don't think you have enough food. Oh, you have exactly enough food. It will use all of your food. I have a feeling I know what a watermelon guy's gonna say. And it's the same thing that I would do. So I'm gonna pick it. I think, I think fighting. Is 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 the way to go. Refuse. That's what I thought. The group is tired and caught in the open as they fight. It's fortunate that these bandits aren't that dangerous. After a short fight, they run. But now Watermelon Guy, Flannel, and Shad are all hurt. After a long walk, the group decides to set up camp. Unfortunately, the group is assaulted by mosquitoes during the night, and they get no sleep. Watermelon guy's morale is down. Flannel's morale is down. Shad's morale is horrible. Look at that. Look how angry he is. The group eats a decent meal minus six food. Flannel's morale increases and Shad's morale increases. Shad rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. Shad tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. The group walks to a junkyard with a car pulled up to the front of it. The car looks like it will run, and it might be the last one you see for a while. Alright, we're exploring the junkyard. Oh, there it is. It's like a VW Beetle. Yes. Uh oh. Wait, who's in trouble? No, do we we lost flannel? No. We lost flannel. No. Oh, flannel. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're in this mess. All right, we're get we're get out of here. This is going very poorly. I'm so sorry, flannel. The car looks like it's it's in really good condition, but where are the key? Oh no, we don't have the keys. Flannel! Not like this! Not flannel! We gotta find the keys for the car. Uh oh, oh no! Watermelon guy! Uh oh. I think this is where the whole party goes. It's just Shad now. Now it's just Shad. I'm so sorry, watermelon guy. It's just Shad. Shad wasn't even loyal to the team. Where are these freaking keys? Are they in the building? I didn't see them in there. Let's check the building again. Oh no, is this... Is that... Flannel, I think that's your skeleton. I think that's your skeleton, Flannel. I'm 
so sorry. Yeah, no, the keys aren't in here. No, we, we've got to find the car keys. So we can leave. Chad's really bad with a gun. Were there, were there other dumpsters I missed, maybe? Oh no, they're still... Oh, there they are! They're fucking behind! No! I, oh no, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, this is real bad! Wait, can I go? Oh, I can go this way! Shed. Run! Run, Shed! Oh, there's gas. Get the gas. In the car. The keys fit perfectly. Shed unlocks the car. You get in! Hurry! Start the car! <laughs> Shed's all alone now. Found two food, 84 gas, eight pistol rounds, and nine rifle rounds. No, 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 this wasn't your fault, watermelon guy. We had to, we had to stop and get the car. We need a car, because we were walking. Shed gets a rare, peaceful moment to relax on an apartment roof. He contemplated all of his friends who are now dead. <laughs> With no one to bother him, he decides to... <laughs> just cool it? Alright. <laughs> Shed spends some time just chilling. Just chilling. Look at that, look at that rainbow font. He's just chilling, he's straight chilling. Chad's morale increased. Chad's like, you know, just chilling makes it almost, almost easy to deal with the, the loss of all my friends. While driving on the death road, Chad decides to make a stop for supplies. Um... <laughs> Chad is a Chad. <laughs> the riled up apartment or the fancy house. I'm gonna pick the fancy house. <laughs> Shad spies a house that looks expensive from the outside. There must be something in there worth checking out. Oh. They're irritated. Shad has two guns. <laughs> Shad's like, yeah. I don't even need just one gun. I have two guns. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, no. I think this is where Shad dies. I think this is where, where, where Shad goes. I think this is it for Shad. <laughs> There's a lot of Zambos. Yeah, you threw you threw it at some some zombies. You turned me at least in death. I was still able to to fight the zombie horde as a weapon, which I'm okay with. What is that? Oh, we got a, a zombo point. Oh, we got a machete. Oh, we need the combination. There's some- oh no, Shad! <laughs> oh no, Shad! That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Shad tried real hard. Shad tried so hard. But, um, that, that was the end of his- his road. How do we- I wanna know how we- 
Oh, we go to unlocks, perks and traits. Oh. Last bodybuilder. The last bodybuilder looks lost in thought. You can't rely on guns to survive. The only guns you can truly rely on are these guns. Oh, we can, we can like work out and get skill points for for ZP. The the debutant is holding a tiny teacup, running around flailing, just has no grace to it. You should use intelligence and decorum. She crushes the teacup into a fine dust. I'm developing an amazing new product. I call them Unlocks, or Unks for short. Witness the magic of Chivos. Wait, I meant to say Unlocks. Oh, see, this is how we unlock. This is how we unlock, like, you want some Cheetos? Uh, Gourmand. So this will unlock new traits. All right, oh, that's all of our points. And the bird is chirping something. I track challenges achieved. Night left group alive. Beat the game with TLB. Beat the game with Fencer. Oh my god, look at all these freaking achievements! And I bet we get stuff for doing them. Oh, there's so many things here. You repeat tutorial. No, no, no. We don't need to repeat no stinking tutorials. Alright, let's go back to the menu. Alright, so this time, this time I'm, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Type Orange with me. Orange, we're rolling out. It's you and me, Orange. You and me against the zombie infested world. We got this. We're gonna rock and roll. Alright, this is the same. Hitting the road. We got some food. Start the journey. The group decides to grab some supplies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where where are we going, Type Orange? Are we going to the Y'all Mart, <laughs> the uh, the the non-brand specific Walmart, the Y'all Mart, the Quiet Hotel, or the Quiet Factory? We're going to Y'all Mart. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's where I wanted to go too. The group spots an abandoned Y'all Mart off in the distance. It looks like it's been looted, but maybe there's some untouched loot inside. We're going bargain hunting. All right, I got a flashlight. And, oh, you have, you got a crowbar. Oh. I don't think I get a weapon because I'm a bruiser. Oh. How you doing, my friend? Welcome on in. Gil Herm, Herm Blue 7? Unfortunately, I only speak English. But welcome on in. It's so good to have you here. Oh, the Yalmart! Look at it! It's beautiful. No, get out of here. I'm trying to admire the Yalmart. It's beautiful. Oh, I didn't know they had... I didn't know they had rusty machetes at the Yalmart. Also shotgun shells. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's your crowbar. That looks like a zap, like one of the like taser sticks from from Resident Evil 5 in your hand, but I guess it's the crowbar. Oh, there's food down there. We got a Zambo point. And a bunch of stuff. Ooh, the Yalmart I think was a good choice.
I think the Yalmart was a real solid choice. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. So glad to have you here hanging out. Well, my dear friend, Type Orange, and I, who's who's also in chat, is is here on a zombie fighting adventure with me. Hopefully it won't end up like the previous two zombie hunting adventures where everybody died. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, how come the notification didn't go off? Let me refresh. Sorry about that. My notification didn't go off for some reason. But thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. This might be everything for us at the Walmart type orange. Unless there's something I missed. Let's take another quick look around. Nope, that's it. This Walmart has been thoroughly looted. I like how Orange just looks like a mafia boss with the crowbar and the suit. You got six foot sixty-five gas and six shotgun shells. We're cruising. We're absolutely cruising. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible all night. Oh no, our morale went down and we lost food. Oh, we had to eat. You <laughs> are the mafia, the new mafia, the uh, the post-apocalyptic mafia. I mean, there's gonna, I'm sure there's gonna be an opening for a new mafia after the world ends. The group spies the city from a distance. There's more undead than usual, but it's early in the day, so they should be they should be groggy at least at first. Um, when driving in the city, the group spots something. Do we want to go to the athletic store or the pharmacy, Orange? Pharmacy it is. Maybe we don't have any other stuff, but I have a rusty machete now. That's pretty good. I feel good about my rusty machete. Machete is absolutely destroying zombies. We are. We're just we're just waiting. I'm like I'm like the comic relief character. <laughs> I just actually I actually kind of look like I'm ready to go to like a disco. <laughs> it's just disco night. The the apocalypse happened on on my weekly disco night when I usually hit the disco and get down with my bad self. So I had to cancel my plans and try to make it to Canada instead. Oh, 
Oh, if you throw the trash cans, there's stuff inside of them. We have to throw them. The Disco Mafia, that'd be the coolest Mafia of all. Oh, we went in here, there's nothing in here. Okay, so where's the actual... Oh, this is new. Where's the actual pharmacy? This music is such a freaking bop. Small grins, small grins, drugs. We got there's the drugs, we got them. Throwing is very effective. I need to start throwing stuff more often when I can. I think that's everything in here. Over there. From there, I think we're ready to head out. Wait, did we go in? Is this a different house? Oh, that's a different house. No, it's not. Why is this door closed? Oh, it is a different house. No, it's the same house I just missed the room, apparently. Oh no, I broke my machete. We got 10 food, 5 first aid, and 7 bullets. I hate fighting at night, it's best to leave early, says Orange. That is, that's true, because the zombies are apparently tired in the morning. The group finds a health food store. It seems like no one bothered to loot it because the food was disgusting. Most of the food seems to be rotting anyway, or maybe it's not. It could be that the food is supposed to look and smell like this. Do we, are we gonna... Are we going to ignore the the health food for moral reasons, or are we going to loot the gross food? What do you think, Type Orange? Are you down to eat some, some health food? It's apparently gross. <laughs> Something that makes this game does not like health food. Eat the healthy food? Alright, we're going to loot the food. The group loots the gross health food, picking what they can, what they can live with. This turns out to be not that much of the food in total. <laughs> we have plus four food. Oh, but our morale went down. Oh, no. Wait, my morale went down. Our, both of our morale went down. Oh, your attitude went up. Oh, your attitude is revealed. The group feels healthier just looking at the gross food. That's good. This can opener has seen better days, says Orange. The group is sitting around a campfire, resting before a brutal day tomorrow. The group eats a decent meal. We lost four food. And, but my morale went up. <gasps> oh, we're telling scary stories. The group decides to tell scary stories. Orange makes his, his scary story about yappy dogs. <laughs> you did have a bad can opener recently. Oh no, you brought it with you on the on our, our death march to, uh, to Canada. <laughs> yappy dogs. <laughs> The group has fun, but doesn't get enough sleep and is tired the next day. But our morale went up. Oh, we're tired, though. The group runs into a horde of zombies. They're completely docile, just waiting outside of a shop in a big single-file line. Every zombie is staring straight ahead. 
You can send someone to join the line to solve this mystery. It looks like it could be a long wait. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna join the line. I'm volunteering. I'm volunteering to join the line. Am I? Are you actually gonna have to make up a story about yappy? Yeah, I think you should. I think you should make up a story about yappy dogs. That'd be really funny. Jay Chili just goes ahead and skips the line completely. He does not play by the rules. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, next time you stream, you should tell a scary story about yappy dogs. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> My morale increased from cutting in line. The shop is a trendy upscale grocery store. Most of the fancier items have rotted to mush, but there's still some loot. Oh, I got eight food and five medical packs. Next time we stop, I'm going to use the car battery to power my game console, says Jay Chili. I probably would. <laughs> Who cares about traveling? I gotta, I gotta charge my Nintendo Switch. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade, with preserved foods being the new currency. We have a lot of food. Let's, let's see what goes on at the vendor camp. He's a man standing near an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. He offers to give you two cans of food for every 25 units. JJ <laughs> robs. Why do I rob everybody? Why is that one of my traits? Oh, because I picked Berserk as my as my trait. So I can just rob people. Mmm. I don't think we can spare 50 gas. Sorry, bud. The group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. I got food. I'm looking for some great weapons. She takes a quick look at what Jay Chili is carrying. She doesn't see anything that she wants. This this guy here. That's Rob. Rob the Burger Master. That's why he's got a burger over his head. Oh, hey. The group finds a dog surrounded by a bunch of ammo. The dog speaks. Welcome to Ammo Emporium. Everything must go. It offers five bullets, four rifle ra ammo, and three shotgun shells per food item. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Jay Chili robs the dog. No, no thanks, bud. Oh, hey, how you doing? We don't have any guns. The group meets a man wielding a homemade spear. Despite being a knife tied to a stick, it seems like it would be a really effective weapon. Nothing beats pole arms for zombie hunting. <laughs> Just rob everybody. Yeah, cool it, bud. Jay Chili tells the pol polearm trader to cool it. He is not pleased by this at all. He starts twirling his spear in an aggressive manner. The group is forced to flee. No! I gotta stop. I gotta stop telling people to cool it. I'm gonna get us in trouble. Oh, there's a man running alongside the road. His horse mask is flopping back and forth with every step. You better believe. I'm sorry, Type Orange. I'm taking the reins. We are recruiting this man with a horse head. The man ignores Orange's offer to join the group, but it soon becomes obvious that he just isn't listening. The car pulls ahead a bit, and Orange reaches over and opens one of the back doors. The man jumps in. Horse's strength reveal. Oh, horse is real weak. Horse's fitness re How is horse's strength low, but the fitness is real high? <laughs> Onward to Canada. Yep, we just got horse. Horse is with us now. This city is covered with hordes of undead and wreckage that has been... That has been touched by a previous fire. The group gets surrounded and their only chance is sprinting through the sewers. Uh-oh. Oh, it's late night. That's not good. Oh, they're hunting. Uh-oh. We have horse. What does horse... Does horse have anything? No. Well, why does horse only have one equipment slot? <laughs> Wait, is horse naked except for the... I'm pretty sure horse is naked except for the horse mask. Horse has nothing, but it only has one equipment slot. Horse is a man in a horse mask, but he's more than a man. He's a horse. Orange keeps chewing gum. I hate when it rains, apparently. <laughs> it's a real roller coaster of, uh... Oh, I don't have a weapon. This <laughs> fucking horse. We gotta get horse a weapon. Oh, we gotta get me a weapon too. Although I think I'm fairly 
No, Lily, Lily, I made you already. I already made you, Lily. Well, you're not you're not on the party right now, but I made you. We can we can do a Lily run next. Also, Lily, how are you? Right now we've got we've got Type Orange on the party. That's that's Type Orange looking like an absolute mafia boss. Oh, we're in, I think we're in trouble. Type Orange, why are you just, why are you and Horse just hanging out back there? We gotta fight you. We gotta fight. We gotta get out of here. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm dead. No. No. I'm dead. I gotta get I've gotta get Orange and Horse out. I've got to, I've got to save them. Oh, Smoke Finesse, thank you so much for the lurk. How are you, my friend? It's so good to see you. I really appreciate that lurk. I'm always the first one to die. Oh no, I didn't die the first time. I just, I just stole the car and left everybody behind. To see exit. We gotta get out. You found the ladder. Yeah, yeah. let's get out of here. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> now I'm you again, Orange. The group feels inspired after managing to survive. What about me? They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. What would you like your reward to be, Orange? I'm good, thank you. Just woke up. Oh, hell yeah. Good morning, Smoke Finesse. Gonna be lurking while you're getting ready for work. Hell yeah, I really appreciate that. This game has come full circle. <laughs> Shooting? You got it. Bear in mind, you don't have a gun. <laughs> Getting used to these zombies makes for steadier aiming. You got also, well, we also got Z Zombo points to buy new perks later. Yeah, you are. We don't, we don't have any guns, though. We haven't found any. The group finds an inn open for business. The owner wrings his ha her hands. Give me ten food, I'll watch over you while you sleep. <laughs> She's super creepy. Are you are you paying are you paying the ten food to have this lady watch over or are you just leaving? <laughs> Drive it off. You don't wanna you don't wanna stay with the lady that goes hey. <laughs> the group peels out of there pretty fast. They eat on the road but never find a secure place to sleep. The group eats a decent meal, minus four food. Orange is tired. Horse is tired. Every day gets me a little closer to Canada, says Orange. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supply. Oh, they're both red. Oh. So wait, how much? You have 65 gas. And a decent amount of food. Are you are you we checking the cabin rescue or the swarmed rest stop? Or are we just driving? We're just going. We're getting out of there. We have a feeling red means that they're very they're very heavily infested by zombies. The group finds a rest stop along the road, completely overwhelmed with angry undead. What could have happened here? All oh, the swarm size is very thick, with two C's. They're so thick. They're also hunting, it's also after dark. Horse still has no weapon. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna end. Uh-oh, oh, it's very dark. Yeah, I'm just dead now. This is kind of like, like zombie apocalypse meets the Oregon Trail. When when you die you're you're dead for the the rest of the run. Oh, you got a bullet out of the toilet. But I believe in orange. I think orange is going to make it. Orange and horse are going to make it. Oh no. <laughs> Horace is just gotta yours just gotta Horace is just here. He won't pick up anything.
<laughs> Horse is like the mascot. Oh god, oh god, oh god, uh oh. Oh god, oh! No. <laughs> well, type orange, uh, I have a- I have a bad feeling. Oh no, it's like, I thought there were a lot more- oh, there's more out here. <laughs> the horse is just running. I don't- I don't know if this is worth it! I mean, if it were up to me, we'd just leave. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh no, orange, I'm so sorry, I'm now horse. Wait, horse can't attack! Horse can only neigh at things! This is why horse is useless! Horse doesn't attack! This is all horse does! <laughs> well, horse made it out. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Orange. We're in the afterlife right now. <laughs> horse. Horse doesn't even talk. <gasps> it's Billy! We found Billy! Whoa, it's Billy. It's nice to see a familiar face. He stretches. <laughs> then he stretches some more. It's an elaborate stretching routine. <laughs> we found Billy! Uh, we better believe we're gonna recruit Billy. We're stuck with Horse. <laughs> horse accepts Billy to the team. Billy joins the team. Onward the kid. Can I make Billy the leader? Is that a, is that a thing I can do? Can I make Billy the leader? <laughs> oh, what is that? Billy's got some rebar. Billy's an explorer, and very charming. Billy is drawing a comic book about his life. I can see, I can see that happening. What's horse up to? Oh. Only twelve sur driving days until Canada. Oh, so we said twelve days to Canada. <laughs> the group meets another person just chilling on a park bench. He seems friendly. They have a conversation just like before the world ended. What was the main topic? Um, uh, I can see, I can see Billy giving a pep talk. Billy tries to give a pep talk. The friendly survivor, survivor feels very optimistic after the talk and gives an inspiring speech. <laughs> maybe, maybe Billy and Horse will make it. I want to believe. The group camps for the night off, off a quiet stretch of the road. The group eats a decent meal. In the morning, there's a, a moose outside the camp. It looks injured. And it's just glaring at the group. Even injured, a moose is a really powerful creature. Probably best not to mess with it. <laughs> Horse shoots the moose. Billy wrestles the moose. <laughs> I kind of want... <laughs> yeah, the original two are dead and the, the adventure is just going on. I'll have to make more characters next time. Because it seems like we can just randomly encounter everyone. I kind of want Horse to shoot the moose. <laughs> Horse tries to shoot the moose. This isn't very sportsmanlike. The group doesn't have any sort of weapons that shoots the, the moose. The moose and horse have a good chuckle. Then the moose starts mauling. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, mistakes were made! <laughs> oh, Billy's healed a bit by horse. Horse has bad medical. <laughs> There's a Twinkie truck on the road. It's upside down, and the door to the back is locked is locked tight. The group salivates about the bounty of processed corn syrup that must be inside. Ignore it for health reason. Horse tries to jimmy it open. Horse shoots the lock. We don't have the guns. Horse smashes it with something heavy. Um, horse doesn't have any weapons. Horse starts messing with the lock. He gets nowhere and gives up in frustration. Oh. Oh, horse is fully healed. Horse treats some of, of their wounds. Hell yeah. The group explores a fairly quiet city. This is a good chance to resupply in relative safety. Uh, let's hit the, the grocery store. Seems like a good place. Oh, Sleepy, let me get you a pack. I deserved it. It wasn't me. It was horse. Horse did it. It was all a horse. There you go, Sleepy. It was all a horse. Also, there's the link for the... The free, the daily free pack of stream loot. If anyone didn't get it yet, it was all horse. 
Oh no, I'm playing his horse. Wait, I don't want to play his horse. I want to play as Billy. Horse can't do anything. <gasps> oh, Super Saiyan! We all know how I feel about that. I underscore put underscore you underscore do oh, underscore you, sleep says you can do it. Hurry up. Oh. That was that was very kind until it got to the hurry up part. What's the rush, Sleepy? We're having a good time. We got Billy now. Billy's out Squirtle. here adventuring. Squirtle, Squirtle. With horse, who's still completely useless. <laughs> horse can't do anything. <laughs> oh, oh! I guess I could throw things really heavily because I was, uh, I was the like the tank class. I think that's everything. Oh, there's a knife over there. That'd be handy, but there's also... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I want that knife, but it's not worth it. Oh, wait! Horse picked up the knife! Horse has a, has a knife! Horse is actually contributing now! Was Horse just not able to attack because cause they didn't have a weapon? Alright. We have... Horse has a knife! We got five food. Oh, everybody's real happy. Horse tries to help. It lacks enough medical supplies. I think Billy's in trouble. The group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Horse looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Uh... Shoot golf balls at the zombies? <laughs> that feels like a bad idea. Um... I think we're, in, we're in, good, in good shape. We're all happy. We're just gonna drive off. The group decides to flee the golf course. They end up not finding another good place to sleep and drive for most of the night. They are very tired the next day. The group eats a decent meal, though. Billy's tired and horse is tired. We can make it as long as we keep our supplies and morale up, says Billy. <laughs> the horse is going to outlive all of us. The car is broken down from use and abuse. It won't start again. Uh, let's. You know what? I, I believe in horse. Horse, you can do this. Horse pops the hood of the car. He completely fails to repair the car after wasting a day on it. Car abandoned. Oh, I believed in horse. Now we're just walking. Billy is walking along the road when he is suddenly mauled by a feral cat. <laughs> feral cat's coat. The United States after the, the zombocalypse. You never see them, but they're always watching, waiting for any weakness. Uh-oh. <laughs> While trekking through the woods, the group gets pretty lost. If they keep going like this, they'll waste a lot of time. Hor yeah, of course, climb a tree. Horse decides to climb a tree to get a better vantage point of the surrounding area. He climbs the tree with little effort. It's fun exercise. He spots something in the distance. Ooh. I think Horse is going to outlive everybody. I'm not... <laughs> that's my prediction. After hours of hiking, the group finds a car sitting alongside a country road. It's in great shape, but the keys are missing. A cabin is visible to the north. Ugh. The, the swarm is thick. It's so thick. Oh, a golf club. Oh, he's got a butter knife. Why does he have a butter knife? Why is it a butter knife? Oh, here, horse. Oh, we have three golf clubs. Was that because we found the... The the golf course? There you go, horse. Oh, 
Oh, there's our, our new car, hopefully. All right, I'm not fucking around. We're gonna find the keys. Set of keys, including some car keys. We got them. There's nothing in there. Uh oh, horse is in trouble. Uh oh, we're all in trouble. Come on, horse! Oh no, did horse die? Oh no, horse died. Oh, my prediction is wrong. They're eating horse. There he goes. Horse is dead. It's just Billy now. Get in the car. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Goodbye, horse. Horse! No! Horse Coon! How could this happen to you? You were the main character. You were supposed to have plot armor. Whoa, it's Bo! We found Bo! It's nice to see a familiar face. He is being thrown out by his former group. Oh no, Bo! Oh, poor Bo! They seem pretty angry. Bo shrugs. Bo is charming and is a martial artist. Let's recruit Bo. Now we got Billy and Bo on an adventure. <laughs> they've been very, they've been very generous with the party members. I can feel it. We're, go we're gonna run into something good, says Billy. The group finds a repair shop. There's a tiny bit of gas, plus a lot of broken garbage. There could be something good here if you know how to fix it. Uh, pick someone to spend a day repairing junk. Um, do any of us... Uh, I don't know either one of their, their mechanical... Well, Billy. Billy spends a day trying to fix something in the, in the junk pile. He accidentally gets a lot of cuts, scrapes, and bruises. He learns about repair the hard way. Billy's mechanical revealed he's not good at it. <laughs> but now he's a little bit better. We lost four food. Bo rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. Bo tries to help but lacks enough medical supplies. We need to be wary of random people. Who knows what they're capable of, says Bo, but we picked we picked you up off the side of the road. <laughs> the mystery factory. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supply. I want to know why the mystery factory is, like, in rainbow color. <laughs> We're going to the mystery factory. The group spots a factory whose sign signs have rusted to nothing. The zombies are swarming over the whole... Oh, no. There's probably some of whatever the factory made left inside. Whatever that was. Oh, no. This may have been a mistake. All right, let's give let's give Bo a golf club and also a butter knife. Oh, Billy's got a blowtorch. Oh no, Billy's dead. Did wait? Did the the did the flames? Did did the flames? Kill Billy. Did Billy just die from me lighting stuff on fire? I got real I got real excited because we hit a blowtorch. I got I went a little crazy with the blowtorch. It's okay, we still we've still got Bo. Thank goodness we picked up Bo off the side of the road. Uh oh. Uh oh, I think this is it. I got greedy, I want that Zambo point. Oh I got greedy. There ends our road to Canada. <laughs> I got greedy. Do I have enough points to unlock anything? You know.
So wait, I can level up. No, no, I didn't want that. No. Wait. So we can level up people's skills. Um, Billy died. I, I, <laughs> we got a blowtorch type orange, and I was like, I'm gonna light everything on fire. Don't light everything on fire, because you're also susceptible to the fire. So, um, Billy died by fire set via the, the blowtorch in his own hand. And then, um, Bo just got swarmed. Uh, I mean, I technically, yes. <laughs> Technically, we could be, but I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring. Uh, wait, no, 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 go back. No. I'm bringing Lily. Lily, we're going on an adventure. Are you excited, Lily? There you are. There you are, Lily. So it's gonna it's gonna be Lily and I going on an adventure. Also, Lily, there's no perk for uh, for friend of cat, so I made you friend of dog, okay? <laughs> You're also paranoid. Because you get scared a lot when we play, like, horror games and stuff. But don't worry, I'm here. I'm, I'm the big bruiser, and my trade is berserk. Because it was the closest thing to chaos. <laughs> no, come back, Lily! <laughs> Everyone else has died so far, but I think, I think together... The Dream Gym can make it. Oh. Oh, Lily, we're... What do you say? What do you say if we loot a quiet hotel? That would be very fitting for you. We'll loot a nice quiet hotel. It'll be nice and peaceful. We'll get lots of cool things. The Dream Gym! Back together! Look! Type Orange knows. <laughs> Type Orange knows. The group goes through an empty town with no supplies to be found and little zombie activity. One small hotel seems to have more undead roaming through it than the rest. That's the one we're going to pick to, to loot. <laughs> oh, Lily! Look, you have a broom! I don't know why you have a broom, but you have a broom. <laughs> Here we go, Lily. <laughs> it looks like it. Oh, I'm already injured. I'm already injured. There's nothing in here. It's just the bathroom. Who puts the toilet in the middle of the room? That's what the dream gym is all about, Lily. This doesn't look like a hotel. This just looks like a house. But I mean, what is what is a hotel if not just a bigger house? We got some bullets in the toilet. That's what you like to see. Oh no, I wanted that.
Oh, you got some bullets? We need a gun, though. Guns seem really hard to come by. We didn't find a single gun in that last playthrough. And then, but in the one before, we had like four of them. Yeah, let's let's get out of here. <laughs> Wait, Lily's no 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 no. Where's Lily? Lily? Oh, there you are. Lily, we gotta go. Plus four food, one med kit, four pistol bullets, six rifle ammo, and five shotgun ammo. Oh, I'm almost dead on my own. It's always almost dead. <laughs> the camp campground that the group sets up smells terrible. The source of the smell is a complete mystery. Well, we'll endure it. We can endure the smell. The group endures the smell zone all night until passing out. They are not happy in the morning, but they were at least able to sleep. The group drives into a city as it starts to get dark. Try not to lose track of time. Things can get bad after the sun sets. Uh... We have some medical clinic? The smell zone. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost... I'm dying, so I feel like we need, we need medical supplies. I think we're gonna go right, because it's getting dark. And after dark, the, zomb the zombies get real angy. Yeah, we're going to the clinic to get some meds. No. No what? Your bro oh no, your broom baroque. Well, uh, we'll, maybe we'll find you another one. Okay, I'll just throw these desks at them. Oh, this place is real big. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's like a poison cloud, but we probably shouldn't walk in that. Don't walk in the poison cloud, Lily. Lily, get the scalpel. Seals Apple, how are you doing tonight? How's your night treating you? Who's that? Cane. You have room for the cane, Lily? You do, pick up the cane. Wait, yeah. Oh wait, this is this is gone. Oh, I can lock things so I can't accidentally get rid of them. That's helpful. Okay, Lily. There you go. We've been getting in some good practice, hell yeah! I think it's like the. Why is it turning purple? Is it because it's real late and it's getting real dangerous? All right, I think we better we better go. That sounds awesome, Apple. I'm really glad to hear it. found any medical supplies though. Oh yeah we did. Oh yeah I'm healed up some. Even in the post-apocalypse. I hate Mondays says Lily. 
Riley meets another survivor who rants about seeing an oiled up bodybuilder that was too swole to control. <laughs> Ripping zombies in half after bench pressing them. Jay Chili feels pumped up about this story and benches a, a nearby log. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I want to be that guy. I want to be the new guy that bench presses zombies. <laughs> that could be me. It gets late, and there's no great place to camp. Solo zombies hobble around in the far distance, and one might sneak up on the group while they sleep. Who should stay up and watch? I'll stay up and watch. Don't worry, Lily. I got you. I got you, Lily. J. Chili stands watch for roving zombie. Oh, Lily, I didn't tell you about the first round of this game, where um, I stole the car and all the supplies, and I left I left flannel for dead. I forgot to tell you about the first round. <laughs> he falls asleep almost instantly. The group wakes up in the middle of being eaten. J. Chili is hurt. Lily is hurt. Oh no, I fell asleep and we got attacked. I'm so sorry, Lily. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. At least we have medkits, though. So you're, you're all healed up. We had medkits. Lily is having near crippling tooth pain without access to the precision tools needed. The only option is to pull the tooth out. She weighs the current options. Uh, Lily, what, 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 what are you going to do? <laughs> you have four sets. You saw this once on a cartoon. I feel like that's the correct response. <laughs> Yeah, it's easy. You just tie you tie a string around around the the doorknob, and then you tie the other end around your tooth, and you slam the door. I saw it on a cartoon. <laughs> Lily, using old cartoon shows as inspiration, decides to tie her tooth to the car. See, I I do it. <laughs> Unprepared for the sudden force of slamming the door, she's pulled toward the car and hits her head on the door. <laughs> Lily is hurt. Oh no. <laughs> and Lily's not doesn't have good mechanical. Abilities. I'm so sorry, Lily. I'm fully healed, though. And Lily healed some of their wounds. I'm so sorry, Lily. <laughs> Outside of Canada, most of society has... Oh, this is if we want to go to the camp. We don't have enough food to go to the camp and trade. We only have four food. We're in trouble. Remember fun? I remember fun. Man, I miss fun, says Jay Chili. Lily is a lightning rod, but for dogs... <laughs> A dog approaches the group out of nowhere. It seems eager to join. Oh, you better you better believe we're taking Roland along. The group accepts Roland to the team. Roland joins the team. Onward to Canada. Lily, we have a dog. <laughs> this city is covered with hordes of undead and wreckage that has been touched by a previous fire. The group gets gets surrounded and their only chance is sprinting through the sewers. Uh oh, we're sprinting through the sewers, Lily. We got Roland though. Can we get? Can we get? Wait. Can we give Roland a weapon? Yeah, let's give. Let's give Roland a scalpel. So we went. Oh, Roland's got a scalpel now. Time for me to head to bed. Everyone have a wonderful night and great rest of the stream. Thank you so much, Type Orange. I really appreciate you hanging out and going on a, a post-apocalyptic adventure with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you get a great night's sleep. I'm going to be wrapping up in a couple minutes here, too. Once we round out this, this, uh, this little adventure here, we either succeed or we fight valiantly to the end. So I hope you have a fantastic night. I really appreciate you hanging out. Oh, there's the exit. Let's just go. Oh, we don't have, like... Oh, we're so low in supplies, though. No, no, let's just go. We're gonna run out of food is the problem. And gas. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. <gasps> uh... 
morale and one health healed? Time heals all wounds, especially zombie bites. Jay Chili's morale increased, Lily's morale increased, Roland's morale increased. We got a, a zombo point. The group finds an inn open for business. The owner wrings her hands. Give me <laughs> 10 food. I'll watch over you while you sleep. <laughs> She's super creepy. <laughs> Jay Chili, say, say it, don't spray it. I think we're gonna, uh, oh, we were already, uh, we don't have 10 food. We only have four food. All right, I guess we're leaving. The group peels out of there pretty fast. They eat on the road, but never find a secure place to sleep. The group is low on food and eats less. Oh no, we're all tired. The car has completely run out of gas and goes to a stop car bed. Uh-oh. Oh, this does not bode well, Lily. While walking, Jay Chili stubs his toe badly. It's not a big deal, but it, it's really annoying. After an entire day of walking, the group finds a safe camping spot. The group is very hungry, and they eat an extra meal. But we only had one, one food. The group finds that there is no food left at all. Despair creeps in. Uh-oh. Lily rolls up her sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. Lily tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. We're not, we're not doing too well, Lily. The group is walking through the countryside and stumbles on burnt-out cars. With zombies roaming around them, there's a good opportunity to check if one of the cars still works. Uh oh but it's late night. That's really, that's a bad time to be out and about. No, no, you're not dead, but we're, we don't have a car. Uh, we don't have any food. Um, apparently there's a car here, but we have to find, oh, we have to find the keys for it. We got a dog, though. Yeah, we have a dog. That's Roland. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I want to play as Roland. <laughs> now I'm Roland. Uh, I guess we're trying to find a car. Uh, what about this one? Is that the car? Yeah. I may be dead, but Lily, Lily, you can you can go on without me. You still have no food, though. The group hit gets frustrated because the CD player in the car is jammed. Playing the so same song over and over again. Who should repair it? You know what? I, I have faith. I have faith that Roland... I think Roland can repair the radio. I think Roland can do it. Roland sits there panting, not understanding what to do at all. The CD player remains broken and annoying. Oh, Roland. <laughs> furniture is the natural enemy of the zombie, says Lily. I mean, it was when I threw it, a lot of furniture at them. While driving the car, Lily gets into a big argument with Roland. Uh, <laughs> do we want Roland to say, say it, don't spray it? Or is Lily gonna... I feel like Lily would drive faster. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Lily gets agitated by the argument and drives... Steadily faster. The argument ends abruptly when she accidentally rams into a flagpole. The group sees a city in the distance with zombies crowding the streets. Getting back alive may be difficult. Uh, uh, hardware store. <laughs> I'm bad at this. <laughs> no. Oh, that's right. I'm playing as Roland. Oh, hey. Oh, who's this guy? The burly man in a strange costume speaks to Roland. What do you think is the most important quality in a hero? Uh, courage. I agree with you, Prince Herman says. He'll help you until you're on your way. He bestows renewed courage upon Roland. <laughs> Roland's the real protagonist. This is Roland's story. We're all just along for the ride. Oh no, Lily, what's wrong? Come back! Roland, Roland is the dog, not the guy. I'm talking about the dog.
Come back, Lily. Look, we got food. Look at all this food we're finding, Lily. I mean, I'm dead, but you'll be able to enjoy the food. Because you're not dead. Wait, where's the hardware store? They said there's a hardware store here. Well, I promise, I promise as soon as we find one, I'll get you another one. Maybe there'll be some at the hardware store. I feel like there would be brooms at the hardware store. Here it is, it's up here. Oh, nope, that's just another house. Another hat. Where's the freaking hardware store? These are all just houses. They're not selecting you know, the hardware store? is a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, instead we uh we went we went to the Oh there's a shotgun! Lily, you can have a shotgun! Do you pick it up, Lady? You pick it up? We're having a shotgun. I did what's his name? What's his name must have taken? He's not on our party! He took the shotgun. couch is in the way. We're just gonna go because I feel like we're getting in over our head. Alright, apparently there's no hardware store. The game lied to us. There's no hardware store. Professor Xavier, how you doing, my friend? Oh, wait. The hardware store's right here. We can't get to... Oh, wait. We can't get to the hardware store. But that's the hardware store. How you doing, Professor Xavier? Welcome on in. Alright, we're leaving. We're pushing our luck. We gotta get out of here. Found nine food, three gas, one first aid kit, 16 pistol rounds, 36 rifle rounds, and 17 shotgun rounds. And we killed 84 zombies. That's a lot of zombies. The group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Lily looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from a driving range. <laughs> uh, we're in no, I don't think you're in any shape to fight, Lily. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking, Professor Xavier. I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, the group decides to flee the golf course. They end up not finding another good place to sleep. Prep? Oh, I was concerned because you don't have any supplies. <laughs> the group finds a new person. Oh, Clorinda. She is alone and wants to join the team. Clorinda claims to be experienced in medical matters. That seems important. She twirls a scalpel around like an expert, then, but then drops it into a storm drain. Lily vouches for this claim. <laughs> I guess you got, you got Clorinda now. The group accepts, accepts Clorinda to the team. Clorinda joins the team. Onward to Canada. We're lost, aren't we, says Lily. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supply. Oh, Lily, where do you want to go for supplies? The cabin with a car? The roadside rescue, which is in red, which usually means there's a lot of zombies. Or the gym apartment. I don't know what that... What is a gym apartment? I don't understand what a gym... Like, is it an apartment? Like, above, Or is it just someone has a gym 
in their apartment, so it's considered a gym apartment. I like the cabin with the car is the safe bet. Gym apartment, I don't know about. What the cabin with a car? Group finds a car sitting alongside the country road. It's in great shape and seems like it's been recently driven. A cabin is visible a little to the north. Your zombie forecast is moderate. But they're hunting. Oh, we got the shotgun. Oh, no, it's a rifle. Hey, Billy. Wait, this is healing spray. Oh, that's not a weapon. I was spraying it on the enemies. There you go. We're in the old golf club and... Oh! Oh, can we take that car? That's the car from... Isn't that the car from Dumb and Dumber? This car looks like it's in really good condition, but where are the keys? Oh, can we take that car? If we find the keys, we're gonna, we're about to have a dog car. Oh god. Oh god, what's happening in here? There's the keys. Uh... Uh-oh. We got the keys. I don't know what's going on in there, but it's not good. Maybe if we lure them outside. Yeah, everybody come outside. Oh, there's still so many people in here. Oh, there's, there's a shotgun. What is, like, this is like, the mother load. Alright, alright, let's get out of here. There you go, Lily. You got a new car. You got the dog car. Three food, 12 gas, 22 pistol rounds, 30 rifle rounds, and 22 shotgun shells. There you go. How do you feel about that, Lily? Look at your car. It's wonderful. The Wolfmobile! <laughs> the car is running fine, but an error code shows up on the dashboard. The, the group has no idea what's wrong. Oh my, the car immediately breaks! <laughs> Uh, mm, chilly, huh? Professor Xavier, mm. thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it, my friend. I think uh, it's not giving me the option to let Lily do anything with the car. I feel like letting Corinda carefully inspect it might work. Checks the car and finds the problem. It was just a loose gas cap. Easy to fix. We don't need to slow down, says Corinda. The group sets up camp outside a grocery store. They notice another group has been following them and will probably attempt to loot the place. Send one person to loot. Uh, we'll send Corinda. We don't care that much about Corinda. The other members stand guard outside for the looters as Corinda searches the grocery store. Corinda brings back some food. Corinda's moral increases. Morale increases. The group eats a decent meal. Do we have... Are we good on food? Oh, we're not bad on food. The car has completely run out of gas. Uh oh. We didn't, uh, we didn't, I didn't think about gas. Uh oh. I'm sorry, Lily, your car is gone. The weather suddenly turns bad. The group is caught in the open and must keep moving. They are forced to stumble around in miserable conditions. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this is usually when things go south. Without a car, the group is easy prey for bandits. A group ambushes you and demands your supplies. All food and gas, plus half of your ammo and medical supplies. Um, I'm gonna drop a quarter of them and run. Uh, I don't know, Lily. Do you think we should fight? I'm, I'm torn. What are they what? All of the food and gas. Well, we don't have any gas. 
It would only be our food. You want to fight? All right, we're fighting. The group knows that every single one of their supplies are essential for their chance chances of reaching Canada, so they fight. Everybody's hurt. But I mean, uh, we made it, but everybody's hurt. The group walks to the entrance of a dark tunnel filled with cars. There has to be some gas and a working car in there. Also, lots of zombies that you can't escape from easily. Oh, oh, they're so thick. They're so thick. With two C's. I'm gonna, buddy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this tennis racket off you. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm gonna give you that golf club, all right? <laughs> all right, we'll give, we'll, we'll give uh, Clorinda the tennis racket. Yeah, the Wolfmobile ran out of gas. The Wolfmobile ran out of gas. We were forced to abandon. I'm so sorry, Lily. I'm so sorry. I tried. I tried so hard to keep it. <laughs> in in retrospect, the Wolfmobile only made it like five seconds, and then we ran out of gas because we didn't have any gas. Oh, this is the car. Everybody in the car. Everybody in the car. Lily, get in the car. Here, we got a new car. We got we got a Prius. Or a, a VW Beetle, I guess it, it would be more commonly. There it is. Look at our, our new car. It's not only is it stylish, but it's also very, very, very economical in terms of gas mileage. Rain starts pouring down. It's hard to see, and the shapes of zombies lurk right on the edge of the darkness. Pink, fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Lionel, I love that freaking song. I listened to the whole thing last night, and it's freaking amazing. On the edge of the darkness, the group isn't sure what would be worse, continuing or stopping here. Oh. Lily, are you stopping? You're just here to say goodnight. Flannel, I hope you have a fantastic night, and I hope you get a great night's sleep. Thank you so much for hanging out and letting me let me create you in uh, Road Road to Canada. Death Road to Canada. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic evening. You're gonna find a house? Seek shelter in house. Okay. Oh, oh no, the girl from, from the grudge is in the house. Oh no. This is this is the worst case scenario. This is the worst thing that could have happened. The group doesn't even doesn't even get settled in to this house before they realize a large horde is closing in from the pouring rain. Seizure alert, there's no escape. Uh oh. We gotta fight. We gotta survive for an hour. Now we we got this though. We got we got Roland. Rowan the Puppo. No, no, no. We're, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We got this. You have a weapon. You have a shotgun. I don't know why you're not using it. Hang on, I'm playing as you for a little while, Lily. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Mistakes were made. The siege is over. You're not trying to escape. Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Oh no! No, Corinda! Come on, let's go! Where, where is She's standing right next to me! Corinda, we're gonna... We're gonna die! Oh... Oh, Corinda died. It's just Lily and Roland again. The dynamic duo. You made it out alive? While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Uh... <laughs> no, no, you made it out. I, I'm, I'm, I'm voting for the grocery store, because I think you need food. Oh, they're, they're sluggish. It's going to be okay. Let's get this out of here. There you go, have that. Also, I'm pretty sure you can spray... I think you could spray that and then like walk into it.
Yeah. Oh, it's a Yalmart. It's not a grocery store. It's a Yalmart. Which I mean, I guess technically is a grocery store. What's that? It was a frying pan. stuff we're finding. Glizzy. Look at that glizzy. I'm glad you like it, Xavier. Look at all this look at all this food you're getting, Lily. Oh, you get some gas from the toilet? That's what it's all about, toilet gas. I think that's everything. Oh no, there's some stuff on the shelf over here. There we go, we got it. Now we just gotta get out. Oh wait, Seal Zapple, is that a new emote? Is that a new emote? Oh no, that's not. I thought that was I thought that was your emote. I love that. That's adorable. That's adorable. You made it, Lily! The group encounters a library in town. Ooh, that seems to have mostly burnt down. <gasps> Lily finds a single book that it Avoided being really damaged by the fire. What was the book? Um, oh. I don't know. Lily, what kind of book do you want to read? It's really, it's really adorable. I really like that emote. You want to learn repair? Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad that you chose because I was going to pick the rhyming children's book for you. Because it sounded like a good book. This book is full of information about repairing or modifying lots of everyday things. It's also probably heavy enough to kill someone with. Bonus. <laughs> it had good reviews, Lily. <laughs> I checked the reviews on, on Amazon, on the now defunct Amazon during the post-apocalyptic world. The group goes against their judgment and camps in the city apartment. 
because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building's on fire! I feel, I, Lily would be as cool about fire, yeah, Lily's real cool about fire safety. Lily always has a fire safety plan prepared. It doesn't matter where she is, Lily constantly thinks up new fire safety plans. It's just, it's just a hobby. It's just a hobby of hers. All supplies were saved. No one was injured. Lily's morale increased. Hell yeah. You can slow zombies down by dropping furniture in front of them, says Lily. The group tries to loot a grocery store, but it has been picked absolutely clean. Lily finds a magazine rack and decides to grab one to read. Oh, here you get to read another book, Lily. What about Giant Farts Monthly? How do you feel about Giant Farts? Cat video pictures! Oh, I know which one you're going to pick, Lily. <laughs> Just think, this is a time without the internet. Guns? Not the cat picture? Not the cat video pictures? Okay. Okay. I mean, why couldn't, why can't you take all of them? The magazine is full of gun pictures, gun info, gun tips, and bizarre hyper-patriotic rants. Lily absorbs all of these things. We need to watch out for possible bandit Im ambushes, says Lily. The group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest. You have 34 food left. Well, that's a lot. Let's go to the trader camp. Oh. What's this guy doing? Is he selling champ? Particularly intense looking woman offers to sell you a spare weapon. I only carry the best. She starts her chainsaw and revs it a few times. <laughs> Rowan tells her to, to cool it. <laughs> hey, Wilson, how's it going? Oh, 20 food. That's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. That's, that's too much. Like, 10 food, maybe. Decked out in sweatbands, limb warmers, and garish exercise clothes. Only the fittest will survive in this zombie-filled world. I can help you get fit fast. How are you, Wilson? Who sees a man standing near an SUV? Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. Two cans of food? Nah. Trem, trem, Tremaine is tired of being stuck in this camp. People join you for a small fee of five food. Lily, do you want to... That's kind of a dick. Roland, do, or, Lily, do you want to recruit... Do you want to recruit Tremaine for five food? Tremaine's really has a lot of medical expertise. Hell yeah, Wilson. I'm really glad to hear that. That's so awesome. I'm really glad. All right, we're recruiting Tremaine. Tremaine devours the food. Tremaine joins the team. Onward to Canada. There we go. Oh, he's got a machete. <laughs> let's see. Let's find out about... Let's find out about Tremaine. Oh, Lily's drawing a comic book about her life. Oh, Lily. Oh, Tremaine's also drawing a comic book about his life. Roland is a dog. Dogs used to be pets. Now most are feral. All right, well, I think that's all we got for us here. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty cozy. Are you feeling cozy, Prof Professor Xavier? The group accidentally disturbs a lot of undead while scouting a city. Uh-oh. Mega-cheesed! They're mega-cheesed! Uh-oh. Discuss a chain reaction of blunders, and they are soon surrounded. Their only chance is running through a tunnel in the, in the road. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tremaine, what else you got? Here, take this. Wield that. Take this flashlight just in case. I have a feeling this is going to end very poorly. I have a bad feeling. Oh, well, apparently I'm apparently I'm Tremaine now.
Make it. Is this the end? Oh, yes. Yes. Let's go. Oh, we made it. That was close. I thought someone was going to die there. We're asking for trouble if we keep on stopping in cities, says Lily. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. I think we need... I think we need medical. <laughs> medical would be good. When it comes to zombie first aid, practice makes perfect. Now you made it. We all made it. Lily, Tremaine, Roland, <laughs> Tremaine, who's apparently the leader of the group now. The group camps out in a big field. The group eats a decent meal. They s they find a row of cans sitting on a wooden fence. Well, shoot the can. Yeah, why not shoot the cans? The group gets some shooting practice by blasting the cans. A man in red long johns runs onto the field with a pitchfork. Uh oh, my cans, my precious antique cans! Oh, look what you've done to to them. <laughs> he shakes the pitchfork as he yells. Tremaine's mo morale decreases. Uh oh. Oh no, everyone's morale is down. Hee haw. Uh, <laughs> the group finds a repair shop. There's a tiny bit of gas, plus a lot of broken garbage. There could be something good here, if you know how to fix it. Oh, we got... Oh, we got 16 gas. Pick someone to spend a day repairing junk. Um... Oh, Lily, you've got some, some mechanical points. Here we go. Lily spends a day trying to fix something in the junk pile. She takes a broken tennis racket and turns it into a level 2 ultra ergonomic tennis racket of the whale. This is exactly the same as a regular tennis racket. Oh. Oh, but your, your mechanical went up. Tremaine rolls up his sleeve and starts tending to their wounds. Tremaine lacks enough medical supplies but manages to improvise some expert medical care. It's important to keep set rations to conserve our supplies, says Tremaine. But I'm pretty sure this is the longest run. You've made it the furthest out of everyone, Lily. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supply. Oh, Lily, where are you going? The factory rescue, the swarmed arcade, or are you not risking it? How much gas do you have? You've got 43 gas. Red means there's going to be lots of Zambos. I'm leaning towards just keep going. Because I got a bad feeling. Hey, Anna! I got a real bad feeling. I'm gonna, I think we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Let's just keep going. The group decides to burn some gas in hopes of finding more interesting places. They find some new locations. Oh, fancy office. Yeah, fancy office. There we go. The group sees an office building. It looks... <gasps> Roy Reaper! Thank you so much for that host, my friend. Welcome on in. That's me. I'm the beauty boy. Here I am. Here I am. In all my bearded glory. The group sees an office building that looks expensive from the outside. There must be something in there worth taking. Oh, here, you can have your tennis racket back. Oh, no, actually, oh, he doesn't have anything. <gasps> Hotline! Roy Hi. underscore Reaper wants to say hello to Hi Anna underscore Diamond. Oh hell yeah! Uh, found out my Anna. computer. Welcome Raiders. How's everyone doing? Uh, okay. Useless. And uh, once I uh, fixed it, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying real oh, hard. I'm trying real hard to keep Lily alive. And I've died already. Um, we've got some random dude off the road or, traveling with oh, us. We're on our way to Canada get during the zombie over. apocalypse. Big fancy key looks like it would unlock a safe. Tremaine picks it up. Ego, my Lego, how you doing, my friend? Hotline! 
How are you? Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, Lily's got a knife. Lily's got a knife. Maybe it's a good thing. Alright, pick up that bone. <gasps> Maniac Malcolm, welcome on in. How you doing, my friend? How is everyone tonight? Oh, there's a lot of freaking zombies here. Oh, I'll see you later, Professor Xavier. Definitely stop on by if you want to hang out again. I really appreciate having you here. Thank you so much, my friend. And thank you again for the follow earlier. Uh, I've killed everybody that I've taken out on the road with me so far, Hotline. Um, except Lily. Lily's doing really well. I'm not... This, this is Lily. The wonderful Empress Lily. Um, who has picked up a dog and some random dude off the road who I'm now playing as. I'm dead already. But Lily's just really thriving. That, that's Randall. Randall's kind of an asshole. He tells people to chill all the time and then they get mad. There was also one instance where I, I I stole the car and left Flannel for dead. Yeah. Wait, does one of your MP... No, no, I put Friend of Dog on Lily. Lily's got Friend of Dog. Alright, we better go. Six food and four gas. I put Friend of... The there was no option for Friend of Cat, which, which Lily is a big fan of cats. So I put friend of dog on. The group finds a new person, Lindsay. He's alone and wants to join the team. Lindsay claims to be really strong. He talks about a former life as a bodybuilder. Lily thinks that he is telling the truth. Sure, Lindsay can come. The group accepts Lindsay to the team. Lindsay joins the team. Onward to Canada. We need to inventory all of our supplies, says Lily. We got no time for that type of boring stuff, says... Uh oh I have a feeling Lindsay's not going to be a team player. The group sets up camp at the safest place they could find around an abandoned mini golf park. The group eats a decent meal. Minus seven food. Lily's morale went up. In the morning, they find a golf ball and putter. While searching the area, the group decides to play a quick game. Roland runs around in excitement. Oh, oh, everybody's morale went up. Hell yeah. This is the furthest we've made it. Yeah, Lindsay sounds like, a, like an absolute dick. It has started to rain over this city. The zombies become more aggressive in response for reasons that have not been explained. Uh, the, I don't know what the bark banner is. I guess the gym. Uh, does Lindsay have any? Oh, Lindsay, we got a mallet. Here, Lindsay, you can have a golf club. And um, Tremaine, you could have a golf club. This game is funny, it can be real fucking hard to where- ooh, okay, I don't know how- it says how close- where does it say how close we are? I forget, it says somewhere how close we are. Oh, up top, I think it's seven days to- to Canada. Which is closer than we've ever gotten on any of the previous runs. I think we made it to ten days once. But I also made a lot of questionable choices. We also had a man that had a horse head for a little while. In one of the other runs. And he was completely useless because he wouldn't use a weapon. Oh, 
I believe. I believe in Lily. I think Lily's gonna make it. Lily's gonna make it to Canada. I have faith. work for a bit. Get, uh, get ready for tomorrow. Hell yeah. Thank you so much again, Hotline, for the raid. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a fantastic evening. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic evening. Gym. Let's go to the gym. That's what we came here for. You find anything in the gym? <laughs> this must be this these must be the uh the, the new year's resolution gym goers because there's way too oh god oh no stop uh oh oh there's a deluxe ultra mega fit brand stationary cycle here unlike treadmills this works with the electricity with the electricity cut off Tremaine considers taking a break to get some fitness training. Uh, intense, yeah, get some intense training. Tremaine sets the cycle to death road to Canada and starts training his legs to their limit. Tremaine doesn't last long before falling down from the exhaustion. He gasps and horks up an organ. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, no, you're alive, Lily. I may have just killed Tremaine, though. I had him work out. Maybe, maybe we should go. Can't get to the car that way. Oh, Lily, you're 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 killing it. We're gonna go. There we go. You're killing it, Lily. I don't know. I I just don't know. We got one food, two gas, 12 pistol sh rounds, 19 rifle rounds, and three shotgun rounds. Oh, there's something wrong with the car. I don't think the car is supposed to do that. We're also almost out of gas. The car's broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. Uh, Lily, I bet you can fix it. Lily pops the hood of the car. She completely fails to repair the car after wasting a day on it. Oh, I'm sorry, Lily. We're on foot again. While walking through the woods, Lindsay doesn't pay attention to where he's going and falls into a deep puddle of water. His gear is fully submerged, putting supplies in danger. Lindsay! Lindsay's morale decreased. Lindsay! The group finds a nice spot to camp for the night in the woods. Wind and rain move, move in during the night, catching the group by surprise. It is a miserable night with no car to retreat to. Uh -oh. The group eats a decent meal. Tremaine rolls up his sleeve and starts tending to their wounds. Tremaine lacks medical supplies, but manages to improvise some expert medical care. <laughs> yeah, we picked up Lindsay on the side of the road. <laughs> the group walks to a junkyard with a car pulled up to the front of it. The car looks like it will run, and it might be the last one you see for a while. Alright, we gotta go. We gotta get this car. We gotta get this car.
Oh, there it is. Look at that car, Lily. It's beautiful. Do we need the keys to start it? The car looks like it's in really good condition, but where are the keys? I don't know. There's the keys. Found the keys. We'll go. We're not going that way. Hey, Kay. How's it going, Kay? Oh, look at... Look, Randall's got a pipe! Alright, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Wait, Lily, I got, you another, I got you another car. Thank you so much for the work, Kay. I really appreciate it. We got three food. 60, 69. Nice. Nice. Ten pistol rounds, 29 rifle rounds, and six shotgun shells. Look, Lily, I got you another car. Another car. Group finds a professional car garage. The sign says car pros. They find some gas and, and lots of scrap metal. Just need time to tinker. Um, yeah, I guess car repair and tune up. Lily tries to repair the car in the hopes it goes a little further before breaking down. The repairs take a good part of the day and are very difficult. The car runs like new. The car looks undamaged. You want food? What are you going to have? That's the real question, Kay. What kind of food are you going to have? Where you go, Lily? Nope, this is the fur this is by far the furthest than any of the other runs. The group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove in it, but no wood. The group didn't have nearly enough food to eat. Doubt festers. Um I guess go out and chop wood. Who should go out and chop wood? We'll send Lindsay. We don't like Lindsay. Lindsay chops a bunch of wood and gets the wood stove going before passing out from exhaustion. You'll be very tired tomorrow. That's what you get for dropping our supplies in the, the puddle. Lily snaps and starts yelling insults at Roland. Why Lily, Why don't you like Roland? <laughs> He's a cute doggo. Roland insults Lily right back, except much more effectively. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! You're gonna have water? That's not... Okay, that's not food. That's not food. Eat some food, Kay. The group finds a gun range. It's empty and mostly picked clean of supplies. However, they find some shooting targets and a working pistol. Let's let's uh, uh search for ammo. The group finds a small amount of ammunition. Do we got? Do we? Have, wait, does that mean we have a gun now? <gasps> Here, Lily. I got this for you. Oh, look at all that ammo. You got so much ammo. Oh, you've got two guns. Hang on. Hang on. Lily, you already... Well, you can have this one. It's got a lot. You've already got two guns. Let's give... Rowan with the comeback. Yeah, Rowan doesn't mess around. Rowan has seen some shit. Lily's body is affected by the stress of this hopeless situation. While driving on the death robe, road, the group decides to make a stop for supply. <gasps> the fishing cabins. What's up, the fishing? They're, they're in like rainbow. The group notices a small row of fishing cabins past a river. Let's go fishing. You're out of luck if underwater creatures are having their own zombie apocalypse. Uh-oh.
Why was there ammo in that fridge? Was that not a fridge? Is this all that's here? Oh, that wasn't much. We didn't find much. Anyone guess two first aid? Oh, wait, we found a ton of ammo. Oh, shit. We don't have any food, though. Conserve your water. We don't want to waste any, says Lily. Oh, you don't have any water. I'm sorry, any food. The group spends so much effort arguing with each other that they don't notice they've driven into the middle of an overwhelming, overwhelming sea of zombies. A building is nearby, but it seems hopeless. Siege alert. There's no escape. No, no, no. We're not giving up the journey to Canada. Why would we give up? We're so close. Let me get to that door. Wait, what? Wait, I gave you, I gave you a gun. into the freaking ceiling! Excuse me! Oh, we're gonna die here. This is where we go. Yep, this is where it ends. Sorry, Lily. I'm so sorry. You're dead. What is going on? Where are they coming from? Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. This is it. Where are they coming from? location. Stop! Stop! Oh no, there's so many! Oh no, this is it. <laughs> the siege is over. Oh, now you can- Oh, we can try and escape now. Good, good. I'm sure we're gonna get somewhere. Oh, we were close to getting out. <laughs> well, Lily, I'm so sorry. You have died on the death road to Canada. I'm so sorry. Does it t say how far you made it? I think you were only a couple days. Oh, it doesn't say. I think you were close. I think you were close to making it out. <sighs> well, so ends, so ends our, our escapade to Canada. So it ends. It ends here. Um, this was fun. This was a really fun game. I might play this again because I made a bunch of other people in the game and I didn't have a chance to play as them. So maybe we'll do another one of these. But I'm so... Lily, I'm so sorry. You have fallen. We've all fallen so far. on the I've fallen multiple times on the road to Canada. I'm usually the first one to die. Um, but, you know, it's, it's all worth it. Lily made it the furthest. Lily gets bragging rights right now. Out of everyone that ventured out, Flannel, who died twice, Billy, uh, who else, uh, Watermelon Guy, Lily's the only one that almost made it. So close. So freaking close. Alright, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for this evening. Thank you so much, everyone, for stopping by to hang out. Um, just a reminder, tomorrow, the, the first half of the stream, the Beardy Bunch Plays portion at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, is going to be happening over on, on the Billy Ridge channel tomorrow, since we're alternating 
or alternating channels that we're doing the Beardy Bunch plays and the live recording of the podcast. And then we'll be hopping back over here where I'll be starting a playthrough of Neo 2, a co-op playthrough of Neo 2 with the wonderful ATM Zero. So it's going to be almost like a double header of Beardy Bunch plays, just minus Billy because Billy will be at work. But um, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a real good time. We're going to fight some demons or yokai. I think they might be called yokai in the game because I think it's it's all in Japan. So they're like Japanese folklore monsters, which is really cool. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, that portion is going to start right after the podcast recording tomorrow, and I'll send out a, a notification to Discord with the link to Billy's channel when we're going to start recording the, the podcast and doing the Beardy Bunch plays, which I think we're playing Garfield Kart, the second Garfield Kart tomorrow. So um, if you're down for that, stop on in for the Beardy Bunch plays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the Billy Rids channel. Right now, let me take a look at our which of our lovely friends are live on Twitch. And if you have any friends that are streaming that you'd like to recommend, please let me know. Because I'm always happy to send a raid on over to a friend of a friend. Let me take a look and see who I have on my end. And then I'll take a look and see if anyone has any recommendations. We've got, we got Abby. We've raided Abby the last two nights. Oh, Roy, Roy Reaper. Let's raid Roy. Roy was hosting us earlier. Unless anyone has any recommendations. All right, we're going to do Roy Reaper. Roy was just here a little while ago, so let's raid Roy. Roy Reaper. I think it's underscore, right? Yeah, Roy underscore Reaper. Uh, let's head on over. Let's let's hit him up with a glizzy raid. A wonderful glizzy, glizzy raid. If you got the emotes, spam those emotes. I think almost everybody has them at the, this point from, from September, because September was such a generous month as far as subbing and gift subbing and all that good stuff specifically use the uh, the new spooktober ones the halloweenies as as the community has coined them um spam those spread some some love and positivity when we get over there because that's what we're all about we're all about positive vibes and you know just having a good time so once again thank you so much everyone for stopping by for hanging out for going on this quest with us to try and get to canada also, for um, dealing with all the jump scares in Five Nights at Freddy's, we made it to, to the custom night, which I guess is technically like bonus material, so I guess we, we technically beat the game. So, And it seems like there's an interest in, in more Five Nights at Freddy's, so maybe we'll start the second one for Indie Night next week. It'll be a good time. All right, on that note, I'm going to start the, the countdown. Start. Uh-oh. Am I, am I not going to start the countdown? There we go. I'm going to start the countdown to head on over to Roy's stream and uh you know all that stuff I said before I waited a long time to say I was to start the countdown and I said everything already so um I'll just <laughs> I'll just see everybody tomorrow if you happen to have some free time tomorrow and you can pop on in if not I will see everyone whenever you're able to pop on by or in the discord or in other streams wherever have a great night everybody see you later